to start the evening, we decided oh. we're going to front load a bit, be responsible. Everybody's got a shot. I'm behind in their schedule, glass. but just so you oh, know, you're fine. I'm not oh, faking. yes. This could, oh, this is like a little... Be careful not with that. Faking. Oh, wait. You are not Wings of Redemption, my friend. We would not. We would never think that of you. Uh, oh, that he replaced it with water? He Crystal did. Light. Wings, Wings did that. I would be heated. We were heated. Because we, <laughs> for the most part, we don't yeah. drink. And, and here's the worst part of it, as oh, Woody opens his, his grand gala. sound. Yes. Oh, that's how air works when it goes into the bottle. I, oh no, but it's it's a it's a nice noise. The the, the bottle has a certain acoustic. It's a foreign to it. noise to me. Is no, everyone no. all all poured up? Yes, uh, I'm ready. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. I feel like you should outline the general what we're thinking about doing here. Yes. Yes, look at that face. That's the face of a champion. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Oh, we should, people are probably going to ask, what's That's, everybody yeah. drinking tonight? So we, we did make sure everything's the exact same strength, even though it's not all the same shit. So Tucker's got Tito's. Kyle? Uh, I have Gran Gala, which uh, is an orange liqueur made with VSOP brandy instead of cognac, which is what you get when you drink um, <laughs> Grand Marnier. It's 20 bucks a bottle for the size that Woody has, a 0.75 mil bottle. Uh, whereas Grand Marnier is $30, $38. Much better price, and it tastes better, and it wins the blind taste test between the two. Well, there you go. Woody uh, has the same, and I have Lunazul Blanco Tequila. An excellent tequila, if you ask wow. me. And, I agree. It made, it made my throat really hot right now. Uh, <laughs> I, it, all right. Walk us through what's happening to your body. Yeah, Woody, tell <laughs> us about your palate. Tell us about the flavor, uh, the flavor layout there. What are you I, tasting notes of? There, <laughs> so I can taste that it's orange, but mostly like I'm warm. I'm, I'm. I swear I'm already drunkish, which sounds ridiculous, right? But there's a sort of instant, like, oh fuck, we're not joking so around placebo. with this. It's, it's, a, it's like a placebo effect, you know. You I, you expect to get drunk, so you're already like, all right, we're elevated. It, we're, if if like people are somehow new to the show, if 382 episodes in, they're like, you know what, I'm gonna give this thing a go. I'm not a drinker. We do a drinking episode every like year, year and a half, and that's literally the last drop of alcohol I had was the last drinking episode, whenever that was. And, and uh, uh, remind people how that last experience with alcohol went. For you. <laughs> oh my god! It, it ended with me thankful that the tile in my bathroom floor was so cold <laughs> as I vomited. It, it was, was like right after that show was over. I remember Kyle was like, "Hey Taylor, you want to play Civ?" And I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll have another drink or two. And you're like, yeah, me too. And so we hop on there, and Woody was like texting us in our group chat. I'm like, oh, I'm vomiting, and it's not making it any better. <laughs> oh, <laughs> When's this going to end? And it's like, you're in for the long haul, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was bad. And it's bad. I, something, Kyle described it. He says, well, as soon as you drink it, you get like a warming feeling. And it, 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 it occupies that hole in your soul where love is supposed to go. Yeah, and and I can see what he's talking about. It's just an in, like, it's as if it went down and coated me like an oil. It did. This is this is this is That's so true. reminiscent of like hanging out with somebody who's like, so I I tried smoking weed for the first time, and it, you have no, it was just like, I was so warm and tingly, and I'm like, yeah, okay, nice. <sighs> yeah, yeah, you were enjoying yourself. Well, hopefully this one goes better with nobody or on their court or work. You know, I think the last one went really well. That's what, yeah, why, why are we benchmarking it as a bad night if you throw up? That's just a consequence of a good night. This yeah. is just water. They told me to down it to keep myself hydrated. Yeah, yeah. Drink a glass of water with every two drinks. <laughs> we'll keep you uh, feeling good. Yeah. Hmm. I think that's a little well. It's well, a good enough metric. Fuck. Well, I, it's one of those things that, like, I never really tried to follow until I went out with uh, a friend of mine who was, like, 30, I think he's, like, 35, and we're sitting there at, uh, it was at uh, X Games in Austin. So it was really hot outside and we had been drinking the entire day. And it's one of those things where like you, you lose track of how hydrated you're supposed to be because you're still going to the bathroom every now and then. So, so he, he was like, hey man, you should try and do this whole glass every, or glass of water every two drinks. And I don't think I've had a bad hangover since. And that was like two years ago. Yeah, so much of it is making sure you've <laughs> eaten something. And then drinking a bunch of water. You doing good, Woody? We're, we're what, uh, five, five minutes in? How come no in? one else's face is red? <laughs> <laughs> this is just called a Thursday for me, Woody. Yes. Yeah. Uh, 
This is not my first drink today, like I said. <laughs> like, 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 we're... Yeah, Kyle showed up in the chat and what he was like, I have not had a drop since the last episode. And Kyle goes, I had a couple drinks earlier. To ease the day along. To the evening. Yeah. 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 Well, Woody, did you, were you never a big drinker back in like college or is this uh, just something that tapered off? I retired adult? in high school. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I started drinking at like 12 or 13 and I wrapped up at like 17. It's very mature. Wow. <laughs> I like that. You were just offloaded by a lot. <laughs> that's 12. That's like the way Jim Norton did it. Where he, he, I mean, he like quit drinking when he was like 18. He used to talk about it on ONA all the time. And it was like, he'll still talk about it like he couldn't go back and have like one drink now. Which, who knows? Maybe this is Jim he Norton couldn't. we're talking about? Yeah, Jim Norton. He knows himself better than I know him, obviously. But it's like, I don't know. When you meet someone who like quit drinking at like 18, it's like you, you didn't even know who you were at that time. Like you could yeah. have another drink right now and be like, I, I don't know why I used to like this so much. Eh, not for me. Or you might go, oh, I'm, I'll do this every once in a while. Okay. Or who knows? Maybe you would become a full blown alcoholic because now it's kind of like in a shrine in your mind of, you know, oh, this is the great evil to avoid. But. Yeah, yeah, that was always a little Weird. entertaining to listen to him talk about that. And it's like, what? You're talking about <laughs> it like you were a junkie. Like you weren't a junkie. Or like you don't even have liver damage. Uh, like, <laughs> talking about him or me? I'm a, I already No, 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 not you, uh, Jim. <laughs> Jim. Oh, okay, Jim. yeah, yeah. For me, I um, I became an athlete around that time. And I cleaned oh. up all kinds of diet stuff. I didn't even drink soda or whatever. It's so weird. It was like the exact opposite. Like I was an athlete and then I went to college and I was like, holy shit, beer's great, guys. Did you know about this stuff all <laughs> along? Like who kept this from me? <laughs> oh, I did. Yeah. You guys, <laughs> get a load of this. You got, you got to try this stuff. It's called Budweiser. It comes in a I, big can. The first thing I ever drank ever in, in high school was uh, – because uh, I didn't get started like Woody in middle school – uh, I drank in high school though, and it was Bacardi 151, mm. and one of it, what, Bacardi 151. It's 151 proof. So what Man. you guys, what, what you're drinking this right is, now, what this he is, is 80, proof. 80, 80 proof. proof. Yeah, so you double. And, but I had no experience with alcohol, and so my friend's older brother, who was back from like college, like he was like eight years older than us or whatever, he was like, yeah, you guys can do, you know, whatever you want. I don't give a shit. Just don't bother me. And I was like, yeah, do you have, like, stuff to drink? Like, we're going to have a bunch of people over then if you're just setting up invitations. And he was like, yeah, I got, like, a bottle of uh, of rum in my closet. He's like, you know, you good with that? And I'm like, sure. I'm a, I'm a kid. I have no idea. Yeah, I, I will say everything. Everything. And I'm yeah. like, yeah. And so I went back there and took, like, a pretty couple pretty big guzzles of it. And because I had no point of reference, I'm like, man, alcohol's bad. <laughs> oh, whew, ah, I feel hot. Oh, and I, I was, within 15 minutes, like I started to feel it, and I was feeling good. And I was yeah. like, I want this to continue. I'm gonna go back in that closet and drink <laughs> some more of that Bacardi 151. Yes. I got fucking shit housed on it, and I was so drunk, I was just like. Okay, but now I'm like, I'm just going to switch it to beer because I don't want to get too drunk. Like, <laughs> else been like, you're already gone, dude. Like, you've taken, like, five yeah. pulls of 151 and you're a kid. You know, uh, oh, that was a horrible first drinking memory. Uh, I also my... was appreciating how cool the slate tile was <laughs> that <laughs> evening. I, I've told this story things. before, but I don't know if everyone knows it. I, I, was, I was in seventh grade, so I was either 12 or 13 years old. And in Ocean City, in the wintertime... Because it's a resort in town. In Maryland? Or uh, Jersey. New Jersey. Yeah. Um, I, I'll make up a number. 75% of the houses are empty. Something like yeah. that. And being complete assholes, we just considered the empty houses to be ours as well. So we broke into them <laughs> and stole Shut their out. alcohol. <laughs> and we would uh, bring girls with us and try Jesus to get them Christ. to do things. Yeah. And uh, we did some shit, but I didn't get laid or anything, not at 12. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, that's what we would do. We would go into these homes. We would steal their alcohol. And as far as what we drank, I don't know. We called it a kamikaze, which I'm, I've later learned is an actual drink. But yeah. I thought a kamikaze was when you took a little bit of every drink so they wouldn't notice it was missing. It's an Irish ah, Michael garbage Scott. bag. Or, or, <laughs> yeah. I call it a little bit of everything. <laughs> no, that's what we drank. Uh, jungle so, juice. Oh, that, that was the worst. My, like, we would do that at my friend's place because his parents, like this is also in high school, where they had an awesome liquor cabinet. But, of course, you can't grab one bottle and guzzle it down. He'll be like, where's my maker's mark? 
uh, no, you maybe you maybe you even. drank the entire thing and forgot. I don't know. Like no, you, <laughs> so you you just have like a giant like juice glass where you'd take like a little like third of a shot from everything, and it was vile. It was mm. truly it tasted disgusting. like death. It doesn't it always. Cool. But mix as a kid, right. you're like, I'm just trying yeah. to get fucked. I'm just trying to get <laughs> fucked up. Here's the thing. I I was such a. I lived so far away from all the people in high school, um, like 45 minutes away, that I never got invited out to the parties. Or when I did, I was like, Well, how do I? Like, I I don't know people well enough at school that I could lie and be like, Mom, I'm going to Jay's house, but I wasn't going to Jay's house. So um, one night, my friend locally was like, Hey, man. You know, your parents don't drink a lot. My parents don't drink a lot. But what if we combined our resources? Let's skim off the top. And like, uh, my parents are gone. You come over for a sleepover. Mm -hmm. Like, your mom will be fine. We'll play Halo all night. And I was like, oh hell yeah! So I, I like got a wa a plastic water bottle, and I it was like not even halfway full of just a myriad of disgusting shit. And that was the first time. I think I was like 16. I was like. This I we watched infomercials and my friend was like, dude, shaking your head is so heavy. I was like, okay. He's like, no, you gotta try it. It's really heavy. It's about it. That's all the that's all the fun we had. I was like, yeah, infomercials were pretty cool. We were too drunk so to you play only Halo. Got drunk enough to not appreciate it. Yeah, drunk I was, <laughs> to not play the game you gave right? her there for. I was just like, this isn't that great. And then I <clears throat> I didn't go back until like literally college. And then I was like, oh, never mind. That's you know funny. what I don't. Oh, I don't ahead, understand Kyle, why kids. I, I don't understand why kids don't make their own liquor. Now I know why I didn't. I didn't Are know you how. Kidding? You know how hard it is to distill stuff. It's so fucking easy no. that it's, it's criminal. It, it literally, it's it's sugar. If you're a child doing it. It is. Yeah. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's sugar, juice, uh, hot water, and yeast. Right? Like, I, yeah. It, it, and you just put it in a bucket. In or, a dark bucket. But uh, the problem uh, is, you have uh, to put it. You have to make it. Like when your dad comes out, and you're just like, oh, this. <laughs> It's a science project. Like, yeah, he wouldn't know. You know, put it in your closet, put it in, under your bed, whatever. You know, and the longer you wait, the stronger it gets. You know, you can I got make some wine grade stuff. So and... much easier to play Hey Mister and get a guy to get like go buy you alcohol. I want to tell you. Oh yeah, uh, my friends have all played the Hey Mister. The the first time I got caught drinking and was gonna get in trouble for it, uh, I left my phone like playing music or something like that. And I got a text, and my mom checked it because it was playing music for like outside of the pool where my friends and I were, and because people were still coming over. And so she checked it, and she came out, and she was like, "Taylor, get up here!" And I was like, "Oh, something's awry." And so <laughs> I went up there and was like, "What? What's up?" And she's like, "You want to explain this to me?" And my friend had texted me like, "I'm on the way. I didn't forget to bring shot glasses this time, haha, -ha, or whatever." And I was like, I don't know, you know, <laughs> we're, we were only going to drink a little bit. And she's like, you tell all of your friends to, to go home right now. And so I had to tell my friends to go and like just sit in my room for a while and wait. And then my parents, my, my dad got home. They were going to give me a little talk. And it was like they got home and they said, we're going to talk to you about this tomorrow. We're going to talk about, you know, to ourselves, you know, a little parental communal meeting over this, and then we'll talk to you about it tomorrow. And I was like, all right, well, I guess I'll just sweat this out and hope I'm not in too much trouble. I'll be going to college in, like, a year, I guess, so it's not too bad. They can't right. really get me. The next day, uh, some things were, you know, came to understanding between my parents, and it became clear that they were going to, you know, oh, they came down, and they were going to talk to me about it, but the news they gave me instead was, we're getting a divorce. <laughs> oh well, you were out of the hot seat. And so I didn't like... get in a lick of trouble. I was like, well, I'm going to my friend's house then. And they were like, like yeah, I should have just, I was like, well, now I need some booze. You know, it, it wasn't like, like this had been a long time coming. It wasn't like a huge, huge shock. But right. it was almost like a macabre feeling of like, Man, that kind of sucks, but somebody is going to get to do whatever they want until college, you know? <laughs> oh, no. My, anyway. So my oh, purpose for that second shot, shot. After Woody's tale. My purpose for drinking at 12 or 13 wasn't really to get drunk. It was just to get somebody to touch my penis. That was my main goal. That was that was really what the all the alcohol it was, was a about. Means to the problem. <laughs> yeah. So uh so with that it's goal accomplished, they're drunk. I remember um like me, my buddy, and and his friend who was a girl, I don't know, I mean, whatever, we're like talking on the phone, and this is old school, so like three of us have our ear up by the phone, and someone asked the girl how big my dick was. Now, regular watchers of the show know that at 12 or 13, 
I had not ridden on the puberty train yet, right? I hadn't visited the station. And uh, so I'm just like, fuck, they're asking how big my dick is. This is it. And she it's said, like a sand crab halfway through burying back <laughs> in. <from the> beach. <laughs> and she goes, I don't know, like a medium. And externally, I was like, huh. But internally, I'm like, fuck yeah. Fuck medium, bitches. Medium. That's what <laughs> like she said. It fits most people. Who's like... Mr. Medium now? <laughs> It's medium, but I will advise you it is slim fit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Holy shit. So that, was, the that was my, oh, my story. <laughs> that's funny. All right. Oh, Kyle, you didn't wait for us. All right. I didn't drinking wait. again? I, I did mine, like, right after the first one. Yeah, I saw uh, Tucker go ahead, and I wanted to keep up. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm doing mine right now, then. I'll 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 be I'll be cruising. I just you know we all have I've to be on the same like trajectory. I got a worried. A mixed when... drink as well over here. <laughs> Man, that's tasty. Like like I got I gotta say like I, I there's you know there's there's a bit of sugar in it and maybe that turns some people off. But this Grand Gala, I could do a commercial for this. Stuff. Honestly, you already have done a commercial. <laughs> it is tasty. Oh it yeah, is delicious. It gets you drunk. It gets you drunk. <laughs> Samuel Jackson beer. <laughs> it's good beer. I would never. Why, why are you that yelling? To shoot. <laughs> oh man. You would say that again, Tucker? I said I would never like. That's something that I would drink, like as a dessert. Yeah. Over time, like I wouldn't. What, Grand Gala. Or anything. Are you sugary. telling me like, Kyle just... steered me wrong? No, he's, a, he's, he's shooting straight vodka, Woody. Oh, yeah, I'm also yeah. not like I'm also like not the person to ask. Okay, yeah. okay. I'd rather Well, I'd rather ten seconds of it being like a surgeon's room in my mouth and then nothing than it'd be like five minutes of like like Willy Wonka nutting in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, not entirely unpleasant. So I don't like the actual drinking of it. Yeah. But the aftertaste is kind of a smooth Warm, warm. Yeah. Is it burning you at all, or is it kind of like, oh, this isn't what I expected it to be? It's really orangey. The latter, for like, sure. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and this is a great burning. point. But <clears throat> like, 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 you've already gotten past the hard part. It's only going to get tastier as the night go on. That is dangerous. I'm familiar <laughs> yeah. with this effect. Yeah. No. <laughs> I, uh, what What is a hard shot in the beginning is an easy glug later on. Yeah. This is like <laughs> Shasta. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I, I like that vodka this. that uh, that Tucker has. That that is literally my favorite vodka. Like like that because with, uh, it's American made, pretty uh, cheap too. It, it's made in Austin. It's a it's a handmade vodka. Uh, um, some fr- I know some people who know the people who own that company, and uh, they introduced me to that in like 2000. Shit, I don't know, maybe 2012. You can't see through this bottle at all. No, you can't. It is opaque. Yeah, this is a. I did, I'm not. I wasn't the type of person that would go out and buy liquor by by name or like by anything other than. Well, this doesn't look like bottom of the barrel, and it's also not top of the barrel. Therefore, I will purchase this New Amsterdam or whatever it was. But once I had this, because they started selling them on airplanes, like it was the, uh, it was Virgin uh, America's like uh, vodka of choice. So when you'd get a drink there, they'd always hand you Tito's, and I was like, you know. For an airplane drink, this actually tastes pretty good. Every single time I got on, so I was like, okay, let's try a regular bottle. And then now in L.A., every bar has Tito's as they're like, please buy our premium shit. No Grey Goose, no Belvedere. So it yeah. grew on you or me. Yeah, you drink I, I definitely. Oh, I yeah. dr- I, every day. Every if time. It doesn't matter if I a 6 a.m. flight or an 8 p.m. flight. Like, I'm drinking on that airplane. I get uh, Bloody Marys if I'm flying. Yes. I, 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 I like that a lot. Uh, I'm a big fan of that. Uh, yeah, Bloody Marys. The, yeah, yeah, me too. Oh, I, I hate those. I would, I, I'm often flying early, you know, and that's the morning drink. Uh, you know, they look at you a little funny. Sir, it's 6 a.m. Come on, come on. Yeah, I know you got it. Nobody <laughs> has ever looked at me funny for ordering a Bloody Mary at 6 a.m. Yeah. That's yeah. Like it's 10 a.m. Expect- somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe where are you going? There's a fetish called Boar. V-O-R. I know about this. O R E. O R E. Like as in like I guess carnivore. like voracious or something. Like, yeah, like carnivore. Like what you eat. Yes. Carn- carnivore, omnivore. Yeah. And it's a fetish about eating people or being eaten by people. Uh, I watched one of his videos about like a giantess thing where it's like a bunch of uh, what he described as manlets, a manlet yeah. fetish of you know wanting to be stepped like wanting to 
women to be like 30 feet tall and like step on you. Yeah. And like weird, just odd things. Like the kind of thing that like you'll read it and be like, what the fuck? And I've got a, a paragraph here on Vor, or a couple paragraphs I could read. Read it. From DeviantArt. Uh, and I to really drive it home, you need to know that when people are reading this and writing it more likely than not, they're masturbating the entire time. So this isn't is for that, fun. Should we be? You're welcome. To. <laughs> okay. I haven't stopped yet. You you better get it done <laughs> I, before that whiskey dick sets in. I knew you were slouching <laughs> for a reason. You were just like, yeah. you're right. That's so, why I have this posture. <laughs> so here is uh, this one is called uh, a new technique on DeviantArt under Vor. Oh boy. So what am I learning today? Sakura asked as she followed Tsunadi into her office. Oh, no. Oh, you'll see, Tsunadi replied, licking her lips. They saw Shizun waiting outside Tsunadi's office door. They're ready, ready Lady Tsunadi, Shizun said, bowing her head. What's ready? Sakura asked, confused. Like I said, Tsunadi said, leading her inside. You'll see. They, it's written by a Japanese guy, so that's why some of this is fucked. Also, they came inside. This is terrible, by, right? Yeah, I'm really trying. I'm like having to... Translate yeah. this in real time. Uh, yeah. They came inside, greeted by an odd sight. There were two men on the desk, arm and, arms and legs tied together. Their mouths were gagged, and they were dressed in nothing but underwear. Uh, Lady Tsunadi, Sakura was even more confused now. What is this? Who are they? She asked, spitting out both questions. This is a new technique I'm going to show you, Tsunadi answered, walking over to the desk. She picked up the larger man by the back of his neck, holding him in the front of her face. And these two are dinner. She said, smiling, not waiting for Sakura's reply. She shoved the man's, the whole the man's whole head into her mouth, her lips closing on his neck. She swallowed, her mouth widening over his shoulders. She grabbed her meal by the waist, using it to push him in. She swallowed again, reaching his chest. With another swallow, she pulled in his stomach. Taking a large gulp, her mouth slid over his waist. Seeing Sakura stare at her with a mix of shock and horror, she swallowed again, pulling in his knees. As her stomach began to expand, she swallowed his shins, reaching his feet. Finally, she made the last swallow, forcing him down. Tsunadi let her groaning stomach hang out, reaching about three feet ahead of her. With a loud belch, she returned to face her student. So, hick. What do you think, she asked, rubbing her belly. You, 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 Sakura couldn't seem to get her mind around this. Everybody, <laughs> I'm gonna not! Even the Sakura not liking it. Uh, <laughs> Sakura couldn't seem to get her mind around this. Her mentor, who had just swallowed a man whole. The outline, in her, <laughs> the outline in her stomach showed her it had actually happened. Then again, so did the stomach itself. I wouldn't worry about him, Tsunadi said, grabbing the other one. These two are on death row anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird, like, a, like weird a person writing. Death row inmates for consumption. I, I didn't read this whole thing first. I just scanned it to make sure it was what I thought it was. <laughs> she said, pushing the... Se These two are on death row anyway, she said, pushing the second one's head into her mouth. What? A few so minutes she's later... Going for two. She's going for two! You know, a few minutes later, Tsunadi felt the feet slide down her throat, her belly expanding to nearly six feet. She let her stomach settle before turning to her still dumbfounded student. Sorry, she said, patting her stomach. That last one was for you, she chuckled, rubbing her shifting belly. What? Sakura shrieked, jumping back. I guess I can call for another. I doubt you can stomach two already, she said, stepping out for a moment to tell Shizun. In a few minutes, she returned, carrying a new man with her. She placed him down in front of Sakura, stepping back. Go on, eat him. She encouraged. <laughs> Sakura nodded, taking him by the shoulders. She forced his head into her mouth, shocked as her jaw moved to encompass his head. I'd With be a swallow. Too. Oh, yeah. With a swallow, she surprised even more as her mouth went around his shoulders. With a little more confidence, she swallowed again, pulling in his chest. Gripping him by the waist, Sakura wolfed down his stomach, pushing him even faster. With another swallow, she took in his waist. As her mouth moved over his waist, she swallowed again, reaching the thighs. She took a large gulp, pulling in the knees, and then reached his ankles. Like her mentor, she quickly swallowed, forcing the man down into her belly. Leaning her head back, letting her massive stomach hang out, reaching about three feet ahead of her, the man's outline clear in her flesh. Wow, wow. Sakura gasped in the shock. How long delight. is this thing? It's when when do you nut? This is a chapter <laughs> four. This is a part one of 62. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Sakura gasped in shock delight. I ate him alive. She grabbed her belly, feeling over the huge orb of flesh. Looks like it, Tsunadi said, her stomach begging, beginning to churn loudly. You should go home, she said, going back to her desk. He's going to take a while to digest. 
Sakura nodded, walking to the door. A few hours later, she was at her home, sitting on her bed. Her stomach was sm somewhat smaller than earlier, but still massive. Sakura was on the phone, calling Naruto. Yeah, he picked what? up. What? Hey, I just learned to Wait, this is a Naruto fucking... This is a Naruto... <laughs> Tucker oh, seems to know about Naruto. This is a Naruto fucking <laughs> war. I was like, why do all these names sound so familiar? See, I don't recognize. I just thought they were all Japanese names, but I've heard of Naruto before. So I guess. <laughs> so, 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 so Sakura was on the phone calling Naruto. Yeah, he picked up. Hey, I just learned a new technique, Sakura said excitedly. All right, when can I see it? Naruto asked. Oh, she said, patting her gut. How about you come over? I want to show you after dinner. This is this is the girl that was. <laughs> this that is, the is girl. degenerate as fuck. Who even thinks to masturbate to something like this that? This is so wrong. Like like first like like it's so, it's so something fantastical. Even, nobody's tits were out. No, there were no titties, and, and it's so fantastical as well to imagine that like, are the like I'm picturing tiny men, like I'm trying to envision no, like these like are real she, people. Yeah, right. Like 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 how do you how do you. That's Sakura. <laughs> Consume a, a, a whole man, you know? Like, like, like I, I, I'm just, well, I'm just I'm having a... I'm going to type in four on DeviantArt. I should have not done that without Sakura. <laughs> so when you can. said that's... Oh, Literotica has so much crazy I, not, stuff. They're not a lot of these people. are like <laughs> animal people eating each other. <laughs> There's some I, Pokemon doing it. Uh, uh, a mermaid I mean, being eaten by her alligator friend. Yeah, Chiz is saying that over on Literotica, there's a, a, a lot more of these uh, very similar fan fiction. And for those of you, you who don't know, Literotica.com has, I don't know how many dirty stories on it, thousands, tens of thousands. And the the categories alone will will shock you, okay? Like, like, like the, the, there, are, there are stories about every weird thing that you can imagine happening between human beings and sort of human beings and animals and aliens and plants. If you wanted to find a story about a plant raping a man right now, I guarantee, <laughs> I guarantee it's on Literotica. There's, I guarantee there's a story about a plant raping a man on Literotica. I don't I, doubt it. I'm a little bummed that I've never uh, been to guys, Literotica. Sounds degenerate. I'm bummed you guys don't have any uh, fanfic. Oh, get out of here. Uh, you know which direction that would head. Uh, like, just stop. Oh, my stop. God. That one picture of Kyle in my guard is going to come up a lot. <laughs> I, I, I have fans. It's going to be Chiz's big head eating both of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's, who's calling who big head? I, uh, the pot called the kettle black. <laughs> Kyle slid down Chiz's you know. throat. He rubbed his stomach and said, <laughs> yummy. But, like, no. Then Kyle oh. called Naruto and said, <laughs> I am in a chooses a belly. <laughs> and I love it. Oh <laughs> There's a lot of kicker shakes in here. <laughs> Drowning in the unprocessed fat. <laughs> oh god, like wings. If you got wings involved with this too? Like like I can I can envision wings eating a person though, right? Like like He pulled like... one banquet meal out of the fridge, turning away, that's deciding it. that's not enough. <laughs> turning back <laughs> to find another. <laughs> 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 Someone posted a thing the other day. Like I, I had went and looked up banquet meals. Not looked them up, but I saw them at the grocery store. I took a snap and I sent it to the guys, and they're they're like a dollar twenty three a piece. And then someone was like, "They're fifty percent off." Look, <laughs> they were they were they were like, I, I can't do the math of what half of that is right now, but they were like seventy nine cents. Wait, wait, that's so, a pretty good bargain. I've why never are had we a talking about meal. bank? That's just as fuck. I've oh, had them uh, before. Wigs of Redemption terrible. eats banquet meals on stream quite a bit. So that's... Yeah, it's his go-to frozen I, dinner. I have to say that the only reason you're doing this is like solely out of out of being out of being too like you you just have to really not want to put any effort into making your food. Cause for in five minutes you can make Thanks. better tasting meals for maybe eighty cents more. Like none <laughs> of this is appetizing. You yeah. could make bacon and eggs instead of that. It'd be almost as fast and infinitely So better. much better. So much better. To Why have bacon can't you and just... Eggs. You could microwave actual chicken tenders, like, if you really wanted to go that route. Get Uncle Ben's ready rice. Takes 90 seconds yes. to make. And it's great. Just I get got brown some Uncle rice Ben's or, in here, too. But does it come with a... Jambalaya can, is the best flavor. Does it come with mechanically separated chicken yeah. and pork patties? It Uncle Ben's ready rice. rice. Do you have to add any other ingredients no. to it? 
Not no, even don't. water. No, no, nothing. You and just, it's actually really good. You just break it up, tear the top part halfway, and then microwave it for 90 you know, seconds. And it's good rice. You lost me. That's already a lot of prep compared to a banquet meal. <laughs> <laughs> you, you literally open it up. You put it. It's less prep. Look at the banquet meal picture that I posted. That is the most foul slab of anything I've seen. Like I, what a I, sad piece of meat that is. <laughs> oh, look at it. It's got the grill marks. Like they probably, <laughs> they probably, people eating in FEMA tents eat better than this. Yeah, Wings has been on uh, Lexapro, and although it technically hasn't kicked in yet, the placebo effect is in full swing. And yeah. uh, he, he's been like, he hasn't raged, he hasn't yelled at anybody. The content has all dried up. Yeah, he lost his. Dude, this edge. isn't even like beef. This is like retired circus it's... bear from Ukraine meat. <laughs> this Chicken is a pork. don't ask, don't tell. Here's 20 bucks. Let us ship this truck. I in. am sorry, Olaf, but you've ridden your last tricycle. <laughs> <laughs> well, I used to eat something like this as a kid. Me uh, too. Lean cuisine is what I used to eat. Mine was Lean Hungry Man good. dinners. and I Yeah, swear, Hungry Man. It came in that same like... I, like that tray looks so familiar to me. Yeah, I, yeah. I I have a memory of like carefully pulling off the the plastic film yes. across the top, but like you have to read the instructions because sometimes the film doesn't come off one of the corners. Sometimes you just puncture the film over yes. six sure things. or peel the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, so I, uh, dude, hungry man dinners are not that bad, and I bake mine. Like if really? I if I'm gonna if I'm gonna eat when I bake it. Uh, I like the they they have like a, a boneless chicken breast thing. It's like two chicken breasts, mashed potatoes, and either a brownie or like some cinnamon apples and some corn and stuff. It's fucking tasty. It's good. It's I not bad. You, but like it's funny to be like, I'm gonna have a hungry man, but I'm gonna take the 15 minute baking no, no, no. route. <laughs> 45 minutes. It takes 45, 45 minutes to bake. Holy shit! Just remember the regular regular baking it's instructions faster. on Just it. Just order food. Dude, a microwave is a chef's best friend, Chiz. Get out of here. No, I, 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 I refuse to use my microwave. I hate it. I, 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 mean, use I like it for so. popcorn and for warming up leftovers. There's, okay, that's different. Yes, love it. But um, I, don't, I don't guess. Like, 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 right? I, like if we Sometimes cook, if I'm like in a rush, I'll do like a sweet potato in there or a ooh. potato in there. Like well, it's, a, it's like an hour that's, in that's the fucking fine. oven or five minutes in the Potatoes, microwave. there's there's certain products that are like microwave okay. Like there, there's not much difference, but I'm not going to put Puffy. any meat Yes, puppies. But I'm not going to put any meat product in a microwave and microwave it. Like, that's gross. Yeah. To cook it? No, I wouldn't do that. To defrost yeah. it, maybe. To yeah. defrost it, but then I'm going to put it in the oven or do something else with it. I don't... Everyone knows meat belongs on the George Foreman grill. That's how we roll. Oh, my God. <laughs> the George Foreman grill. I cook all that fat and flavor out. <laughs> I let it drip into the pan and dispose of it. <laughs> Wait, I think I'm, my dad used to make stovetop popcorn, and it was amazing. It was really good. It was way better than bagged popcorn. You're totally right. I love it. It was also way more, way more effort, you know? It's oh, almost like a cathartic thing, though. Like on like a cold night or something, and you yes. have some popcorn and like add a little oil in it, and you're like, "This will be fun. I'll do that." I didn't but like, like the metal just... on metal scraping that's involved. Like, it, it give me the heebie-jeebies. Oh no, there. you have a, a popcorn like a plastic coated spoon, or you get a popcorn uh, maker. It, you, it's just like a little tumbler, and you just turn oh, it slowly. No, in it's the like old days, days, it came yes. in like <laughs> a little tinfoil frying pan, and you Still just. Still does. This isn't yeah. 1920. I, no, 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 no. I, I get those. What are you talking about, Jiffy Pop? Yeah, Jiffy oh, Pop. I still get okay. it. Yeah, I am. Where you about. shake it and it goes, pop, 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 and, and it, it, it sort slowly of gets bigger and bigger. No, I know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah, and then you cut it open and it's always burned. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I still like get on that. The stove and you're like, I can get a couple more pops out of this bitch. I can get this it's bigger. <laughs> you know, and then no, I know, it just burns it. I still get the Jiffy Pop. I really like the whole stovetop thing. And you know, you keep, you know, you shake it and the metal you on don't... metal doesn't bother you at all. Like, it, like you're completely immune to it. It doesn't I, bother me. I have a gas, you know, oven. Right. I, I, maybe you do too, you know, and it's... I, but there, no. there's like the little platform that like the pot would sit on top of. Somehow yeah. scraping that metal on the metal during the cooking process is like freaky to me. Yeah, I, I, I can't imagine that, that you're the one doing it anyway. <laughs> when I was a kid, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, like, like... I don't like... I, I know what you mean. Metal doesn't do it to me. Like feeling like paper, like rub... Up against other paper, I oh, hate that no, feeling. Oh no, that doesn't bother and that, me. Like, that was not I me. That. I used to eat. My brother had a friend. Licking who ate envelopes it. makes. I'm getting like goosebumps no, right now thinking of, about my, licking. My brother envelopes. had a friend. Whenever he ate off a fork, 
he would put the fork against his upper teeth and it would sound like unsheathing a sword. It'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> and, and that, like, that would, it bothered me. I what an like asshole. That. Yeah, that would bother everyone. That is disgusting. <laughs> Mine is yeah. the feel of, like, rubbing cotton balls together. That's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> really? I, I don't understand that one at all. I could rub cotton balls together all day. I don't get it. Well, I'm uh, glad that you guys it, have it really something. Because I felt like a special needs kid or something when I, when I was the only one. <laughs> no. I can't. I can't even touch cotton balls. I, like, I don't really. They're fun in my it about them? It squeaks and it sucks. Ah, I, can't I touch could play them. in a ball pit of That's cotton balls and it wouldn't no. bug me. It's just yeah, single cotton ball. No, I can't touch it. I can't touch it. It I don't actually want... bothers me thinking about it. It bothers me thinking about it. It's like watching someone vomit. Like, like, like I, I don't. Oh, I, don't... I have no problem watching people puke. It's just that the only thing is that and like. Chewing on dry paper, like put a wad wow. of dry paper. <laughs> yeah, it's just. Oh, and paper. Uh, just... imagine, imagine taking a Manila envelope, like. Ah, a... give yourself a paper cut. Oh, you put like your in between your toes and <laughs> give yourself a paper cut on like the corners of your mouth, like ah, Ooh. like like. Ah. like... That's right? the worst. And then go into a Mexican restaurant and eating chips. It's just <laughs> like, oh, man. Uh. I'm trying to think of other shit like that that I just hate and I can't explain why. I've heard that cotton ball thing before. And yeah. I've even tried it. Like, I've been like, I wonder if I have that. And I've, like, got oh. two cotton balls and, like, rubbed them together. Uh, uh, like, am I not doing it right? No, I guess I, I, guess I don't have this one. Paper. No, fuck that. Like, Can't even, touch. like, lightly brushing paper a little really? bit. Like, like, in certain ways. Uh. Like, not always, but, like, just since, ah. Yeah, I can't I really like that one. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what did Kyle say? I missed it. He goes, you in an office? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm all digital. <laughs> <laughs> We're paperless here. I printed something out. Somebody else go get it. Yeah. Oh, we gotta wait for Kyle to get back because then we're a little bit overdue on on our next shot. Yeah, two and a half minutes overdue. That's not that bad. Oh, really? I thought we were more overdue. Well, I don't have the <laughs> three minutes. I guess now. I could. <laughs> uh, yeah. Tucker has been been beating us. I can't hear you, Tucker. Yeah, I muted. No, I was gonna say I was looking down at the uh, at the clock, going, "Yeah, we're about 16 minutes overdue." And no, it's because we just, started late. Yeah, we did some mic checks and stuff. Yep, that's okay though. Started at 15. Okay, so now we can all keep track a little better. So, what is that you're drinking right there, Tuck? Uh, it's just a uh, non-alcoholic ginger beer. Oh, that stuff is strong. I do not really. Oh, are you mixing it with your like? It's not like. Strong alcohol because there's no alcohol. It's strong tasting. It's like oh, it's strong tasting. on steroids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not like like this is this is pretty much me for the episode. Like I'm not I'm not sitting here like a it's like a coke going like ah I'm just drinking it. Like it's it's nice every now and then. What do you have there? Yeah. What what did I miss? Got ginger uh, beer. Ginger beer. Ah, okay. Did yeah. we drink yet? No. We are gonna drink right now for your shot. Ah, yes. Uh, so you're not doing like a Moscow Mule on the side or something with that ginger it's, beer? It's like a delayed Moscow Mule where I take the shot of vodka and then I mule it up for the next 40 minutes, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's like, that's so how it's that not works. one at all. Yeah. No, it's not. Are we ready? Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, wait. I need salt on my hand. That, you're so spring like doing it better. Do you have a lime and everything? I do. Yeah. I have a cut up lime right here. Wow. That's a party. Oh, yeah. yeah. Taylor Just knows. me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> cheers, Ready? guys. Cheers. All right. Yeah. You know, I just can't do tequila ever. Tequila. There's no alcohol that I <sighs> Wait, I told time. you. Uh, I hate this gin. I told you about uh, the... Was it with you guys the the shit story of somebody who shit in my friend's uh, bathroom? Oh yeah, you were talking. Yeah, okay, about okay. I was just making sure I told him because I was like, yeah, the last time I was drinking really heavily was when this person shit in my friend's bathroom. Oh. It still happened. Did any more facts come to light? Was no, I. <laughs> I think they buried the lead and they said we're we're just not gonna have a party ever again like that. And I was like, okay, <laughs> fair enough. So the world may never know. It's weird. I don't like this drinking but I can see why people do like if I could just get over the fact that I'm always sick afterwards and I hate it going down in between drinks out. like, ah, this is why. Yeah. You're like, this, this feels pretty good. See, there's a reason why the overwhelming majority of humans like alcohol. Well, you can put it in your butt. Yeah, you can. No, you can nobody actually it. does. That. I mean, you could, you could combine both of your favorite things. 
<laughs> but sex and alcohol? Yeah. Hell but yeah. They didn't they go in those, your butt, Kyle. They make those yeah. dildos. <laughs> oh, oh the, yes! And then you can pump it in while, yeah. while fucking yourself. Yeah, yeah. That's, now, that's a fucking party right there. That's literally you, a fucking party. What? Chiz was over there like, oh, there's inhalable alcohol. Get out of here, pussy. Oh, the guy, a, the, the guy that no. vapes the alcohol with the compressed uh, thing. You see that? Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, they're vaping alcohol. Yeah, no, you're not a Terrible. real man. Ooh. Does that actually real... get you? Does that really get yes. you drunk? Yeah, of course. Yeah. And you can vape it, and it's probably zero calories. Of course, yes, it's but... zero calories. You're inhaling it. You know, there's got to be a problem with. Don't bother me with your problems. But yeah, they just com- they super compress like it, it attaches to like a, a a bottle of wine or something like that. Or no, it, they they give you a chiz. Find the the pitch because there's like an infomercial, and you you pour it into this bottle and you pressurize it and then when you take it off obviously it vaporizes the alcohol so you inhale it and the guy's like yeah i got really drunk after like 15 drinks and i was like seems like a waste of alcohol if i'm gonna be honest it does like i uh they also had powdered alcohol which yeah. is like a thing for a bit where everybody's like oh you're gonna be able to sneak powdered alcohol everywhere and then like i watched a video of somebody actually doing it and it's like it it is so diluted so weak by the time you've like poured enough liquid in there to make it like a drinkable beverage that, yeah. that it's like like a two like it's like a Utah beer. Oh. Like one of those like three percent ridiculous Bud Light. I don't know if you guys have ever been to, you know, Salt Lake Mormonville. City at the, uh, like at the airport where you're a layover there or whatever, and you go to buy a beer because you have a layover and it's like same price, same price as every other airport, just as expensive, but it ta- it's so watery, it's gross. I think they even put less bubbles in there. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, they it's cheap like out flat. of the bubbles. That's your theory. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I think so. They're, they're saving money on carbonation. <laughs> That's Goddamn, where they Anna get Heiser you. Bush. Carbonation <laughs> is the devil. Uh, carbonation is the best. I wish every drink were carbonated. That's why I like Lacroix and like not even just Lacroix, any kind of sparkling yeah. water. You know, I may have thought of something so fucked up that this doesn't exist on the internet. I was thinking of of combining, you know, those dildos that where you've got the pump, so that right. the dildo jizzes, and combining that with alcohol. Which you know, you put alcohol in your butt, you get super wasted because it bypasses the liquor, the uh, liver. It uh, it's just absorbed directly into the bloodstream. I can't find any evidence of anyone doing this online. Give the subreddit a week, and we'll have someone. <laughs> <laughs> that's. Yeah, I'm, that's pretty... I'm really surprised that no one has done this yet. I I, I the new Tide Pod challenge. Yeah, no, I that don't think that. Funny. I, I don't know. It's not the same. One kills you, and one is great. You get fucked, and you get drunk. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Yeah, you can die but from... But you get fucked in the butt. That's not how I like to get fucked. Well, well <laughs> beggars must... can't be choosing. That's, 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 that's just you, that's, you, that's, you that's, know? There's a fifth of tequila in that cock. You you work it till you get what you want. <laughs> All right? Like, like, like this, the beggars can't be choosing. Just at kidding. at this get, point, get I'm going to I'm gonna deal with the calorie consequences and just drink it. <laughs> <laughs> just well, drink it down. Because I do right. like the taste of most... Well, that's not true. I like the taste of beers. Like, beers are great, but hard liquor, none of it tastes good to me. Like, none of your like headsets scotch. are bothering you? No. no. <laughs> I know, my headset always bothers me something. That's why every single episode I have this one behind my right ear. I only like My headset never bothers me. I love my Razer uh, Kraken V2 TMs. They don't Sponsored. make headsets for Neanderthal heads no, like you're... mine. I have they a make, tiny They make head. them for big tall heads that you can like stretch this thing up, but nothing for the girthy among us. No. So. Yeah. <laughs> no. Luckily, I'm, I'm not having that problem. You don't have a medium head like me? My no. head is very small. Very so, under average. Woody, uh, describe your your feeling right now, since you're you're the, the resident not, not drinker among my, us, the, the my, healthier one in that my, regard. My palms are clammy. My forearms are somehow dry, but I think they're wet. Uh, my face is red, and somehow my headset, which I love week after week, feels tight. <laughs> and uh, and I just have like a low-grade headache. And it's hard to describe the warmth that exists in my throat and chest, but that effect is real. It's permeating, isn't it? It's almost like pulsating into different parts of your body. And I didn't realize it, but when I move around, it turns out I'm drunk. <laughs> Man, oh, yeah. if, if only. Give yourself one of these. What you <laughs> yeah, I think. What you do guys... you think the lean back thing is? All for? of you should take a shot to catch up to me. I have already taken hey, one more what? shot that, uh, than all of you. That's mm. true, but 
Kyle, let's take one to catch up with Woody. That is fair enough. I, I, the part yeah, wait till the you reason, stand up, Woody. Wait till the first Part of the reason that I, I was I was drinking ahead of schedule was every time Woody would take a shot, I was like, Jesus. Like, that's like me in about an hour and a half. Like, I really need to. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're all gauging our drunkenness off of where Woody is. <laughs> I mean, it's true. It's, it's the only right way to do this if we're going to be Are honest, your hands you know? not sweaty at all? No. Uh-uh. I, I, I feel... Uh, I feel like if you <laughs> don't rub on your face, <laughs> yeah, just, what are you doing? So I don't know. Sweaty. I was just looking for some like is sweat your calibration device. Is your AC on? You know, yeah. I like to be a little bit cool when I'm when I'm when I'm drinking. Yeah, I just opened yeah. the window. It's nice and cold outside. I'm, I'm pretty I'm in warm, a box. but that's because we're like over 80 degrees for the first time today, and I haven't turned on my AC. Well, it is terrible. It was 90 degrees yesterday. It was 87 today right now. I think it uh, snowed it's- here last week. Okay, terrible. No, it's 66, Twice. right? <laughs> uh, yeah, we never had winter. It, it was kind of weird. Last year we had uh, like 20 inches of rain in the month of January and February, all the shit. This year it was been dry and hot. I miss my winter, man. Tell your grandfather <laughs> I called him a northerner. A northerner. <laughs> I, I do not. Mi- if I lived in L.A. or any of the parts of California where you just have the same season all year round, I don't think I would miss winter. I've never lived in a place where you don't have winter, mm. but it's, I would well, rather ha- not have snow than deal with the fact that it was 30 degrees like last Saturday. A hundred percent. It's it's not that I miss winter. It's not that I miss. And when I say I miss winter, I don't miss snow. I miss 50 degree days where it's a comfortable jacket weather and there's nothing negative about it. And same with um same with the uh, like. Like snow, it's cool if I go somewhere that has snow for like three or four days, Christmas, yeah. whatever. But I don't want snow. I don't miss it. I miss rain, but I don't miss. I miss thunderstorms, but I don't miss rain. Like I, I like occasional shit. You're just describing like a like fall weather, <clears throat> like or at least fall weather here. Fall like, and spring, yeah. Fall I, I and do spring. like fall weather when it's between like you know fifty and and sixty for the most part. All the trees change color and it's nice and pretty. But then it goes to winter and winter sucks cock. Nah, I'm not a. I'm not. I I very much am one of those people that moved here and complains when it's like over 85 degrees, but. Oh, I feel like, like one of the best places to live for weather and outdoors, Colorado. Colorado is in in a desert. Like like, people think that it's not a, it's a, it's a, it's in a desert. So they get very little rainfall as far as I know. Too much cold Yeah, but they they still get winter. It's kind of cold because it's, you know, higher altitude, but they get summer. And it's, uh, you can go and do like whitewater rafting and then you can go and do, well, that's not that special. You can do that most places. And then you can go do like skiing, which is special because I'm fucking ages away from anywhere where you can ski in this giant flat area in the Midwest. Like Denver, Denver, Colorado has on average 69% of its days uh, are sunny. And that is more than um, pretty much most cities like miami gets 70 percent. so colorado or so colorado LA? denver like 90 uh that's a great question uh, los angeles 73 las vegas oh. is 85 so like colorado is right there gap. yeah is yeah. that a oh, okay Do you, can what's, you look uh, up raleigh what's is like pretty yeah uh raleigh. it is in front of me let me raleigh is 58 huh. what about uh atlanta where kyle's at atlanta is 60 what about st louis Uh, 56. Last one. Can you do Philadelphia oh, for I me? Oh, I lost. F- Philadelphia. Uh, 56. <laughs> 56. Yeah, I, it is not funny. always sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> to, uh, to, to be frank, like having... It's, it's likely sunny in Philadelphia. Think about it this way, though. <laughs> it's really easy to think, oh, only, only 56% of your days are sunny, but that means like half of your days are there's no sun. The, this isn't like partly overcast. These are like the majority is sunny, so... That's pretty gloomy when you get down there into the 40s and shit. It is. Pittsburgh's 45. The other thing to consider is that it's not evenly spread, right? So, like, so I'm from where I'm from in New Jersey is close to Philly, which is why I asked. And you get a lot of sun in the summer. It's really pretty nice. But then you go like nine months where it's 75% cloudy. You know, 75% of the days are not sunny. And it's just, it it was a hardship for me to make it through. Uh, Like, like we're in, uh, I don't know if any of the areas you guys are in, maybe Kyle have tornado season no but tornado season like even if you don't get a tornado it just turns the whole sky like dark bluish greenish 
and it's just like a melancholy look, like a gorilla's music video. Like, <laughs> I, you know, like no, not... I know what you're talking about. That like it makes sense. Boom, I, boom, living in a boom, when I moved boom, in the Pacific boom, Northwest, boom, boom. I, I kind of got that that vibe. Everybody goes, oh, it always rains in Portland, or it always rains in Seattle. It does. It rains almost every day from like October to June, but it doesn't rain meaningfully like it'll it'll sprinkle for a little bit and you're like oh it's spinning and that's it it's overcast the entire time though the summer is beautiful but like the other eight months fuck that Mm. i had a girl from la uh hang out with me once here and this was years and years and years ago and i was driving her back to the airport and it was raining even hard by like midwest standards like torrential like yeah. huge like like to the point where like there are like small rivers on the street like every it's not like you go through a puddle it's like the whole thing is that and she right. was freaking the fuck out like what like we, we need to pull over and wait for this to stop and it was like <laughs> well then we're gonna be pulled over till like three days from now because this is gonna keep happening and then it'll be really green for like three more days and then it'll snow again or some shit because this is the worst place in the world for <laughs> weather because you don't even get in the midwest like, if you complain about heat, some cunt from, you know, Miami will be like, you don't know hot. Or yes. from Phoenix, you don't even know, man. It's like, oh, Mr. Zero Percent Humidity? Oh, yeah, woohoo. Uh, mm-hmm. And then people, if you complain about the cold, people in fucking Minnesota yeah. are like, oh, you don't know Oh, don't listen cold. here, buddy. <laughs> it's cold we get as just hell. enough shit from every direction for it to suck but not enough for recognition, just like the Blues and the playoffs every year. You don't get the draft pick, and you don't make the playoffs. That's how I (laughs) felt living in Baltimore. I was like, we get enough snow that New Yorkers are like, fuck you. And then it gets hot enough that everybody in the South is like, nah, you're not that warm. But it was always very uncomfortable on either side of the spectrum. You know, a lot of extremes on either side. I'm changing the topic a little, but speaking of don't know what they're talking about, I circled back with my mom about your most recent Bible story. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, and she confirmed it was correct. Actually, she said it was pretty good. Uh, there were a couple minor qualms she had. Uh, one was um, when Cursing. you told the story. I, I'm terrible with names. Who was the guy who kept saying, fuck it, I'll do some more because God gave him like kind of a stubbornness? Uh, pharaoh oh that was the pharaoh yeah okay. yeah where he, he wouldn't let them leave it turns even out when he kind of wanted to yeah the god for the first three rounds that stubbornness was his and it wasn't until rounds like four through 12 or whatever that god injected that stubbornness on him i'm okay i'm, I'm lost you gonna throw I'm, down on first, that one uh first of all conceding that there was any point where god infringed on his promise of providing free will to his creations kind of proves my point but Despite that, early on in that story, I'm almost fucking positive that the hardening of his heart started earlier than that. Okay. Like, it's, right. it started Her early. Other... And, like, well, oh, I go ahead. I'm in no position to judge who's right or who's wrong. No, but Woody, it... I will treat you as the opposition. <laughs> <laughs> she also said that when you told the story, you said that, I guess, the, were they Jewish slaves? They, yeah. um, uh, the they didn't suffer the impact of this. And she said that for the first couple of rounds, they did. And then God gave them a buy somehow. Well, she that, should know there weren't that, any Jewish slaves to begin with. So it's all, that, yeah, it's all that, lies. That, all made up. that never happened. But she, she is wrong in that regard. Because <laughs> when all of the water was turned to blood, uh, the Isra- Is- Israelites or Hebrew, Jewish, whatever water, was not turned to, to blood. Well, my mommy says you're wrong. So. I mean, we can look at the good book and <laughs> confirm right now. Because, I, 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 I do want to know who's right. I'm very curious because my, no, my – like, No one's right because it's made up. <laughs> uh, okay, we're okay. About, this, this, this is, is like, like we're Harry arguing Potter about Hansel and Gretel. Like, like <laughs> no, no. You see, the outside of the house was marshmallow. <laughs> and, 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 and you're coming back with no, – no, Marshmallow simply wouldn't work. It would have to be a hard candy. They're gumdrops. Okay? They're gumdrops you would never for sure. use marshmallow for the exterior of a candy home. You would <laughs> always use hard candy. A child in that era wouldn't have been able to puncture a hard uh, graham cracker <laughs> exterior home with just their teeth. That's <laughs> absolutely right, Taylor. It would have to be some sort of a gingerbread uh, door to provide passage for the children. Yes, <laughs> Hansel and Gretel, they deserved what they got. Yeah. Yeah. 
Those dumbasses leaving I'll take food. take that hard stance. <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, care all the haters that are going to come forward, all the Hansel and Gretel. I, uh, I almost want to bring yeah, my that, dad in on this. I want to know where he's – he's the one who goes to Bible he, school four days a week because they don't offer a fifth. He would probably be team hard candy on the outside. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I see where I'm, you're I'm from. like almost – or I was, I could be totally wrong. I'm almost positive that he was hardening the Pharaoh's heart even prior to the first engagement to make sure. And I am positive that the Hebrews were spared from the ramifications of all of the, uh, all of the plagues. Is, so, is you know, qualified? maybe she should come to the church of Taylor, which is a tangentially related, related to the church of Kyle. Can, can she look <laughs> it up? Is that a possible thing? Oh, it is. He's got the internet. Chiz, are you, <laughs> Chiz, you, you, have, are you connected to the internet? Chiz, <laughs> I, I, I just think meant, what they want to know is, to what, look it up. is at what point uh, the Pharaoh's heart was hardened by the Lord God Almighty. Mm. And while you're at it, find out about that gingerbread house <laughs> because they are equally relevant. I, Kyle keeps proposing candies that aren't even waterproof. I don't know where he's coming from. Could on this. Exactly. <laughs> well, and, and all of the depictions that I have seen from the good book. Uh, A.K.A. Uh, Grimm's fairy tales. Um, you know, the outside of the house is often a marshmallowy uh, mm -hmm. substance, and that just would not would it not would be. Able, I mean, there'd be, there'd the be rain would shit. destroy it. You would have to put some sort of frosting on it to make it rainproof. I would think you would need hard candy. It's you would like, need hard dude, candy uh, on the outside. Get that nature's dude V sauce on it. Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. So you may have heard that children hundreds of years ago were capable of penetrating gingerbread with just their teeth. But did you know in order to hold up a roof on a house that size, it would have to be five inches thick? Now, could a child's teeth from that time penetrate that gingerbread wall? Today we're going to find out. <laughs> no, because they're English kids and their teeth are awful. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, 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 chips I feel like whenever we start arguing about whether the Pharaoh's heart was ar was hardened at point A or point B, we should we should stop and remember that we're literally arguing about what a gingerbread house was made out of. It's 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 pretty much the exact same thing. I I I, I, I get so frustrated. They're they're allegories. They're allegories. All right, here's a quick down of the key bits of the data. Right. Three times Yahweh said he hardened Pharaoh's heart. She's, you haven't read the whole thing yet, Woody. Mm. Six times Yahweh actually hardens Pharaoh's heart. Seven times the hardening is expressed as a divine passive from Yahweh, as the implied subject Pharaoh's heart was hardened by Yahweh. And three times we are told Pharaoh hardened his own heart. Oh, well, there you go. Hmm. No, oh, that doesn't make sense because Exodus 8:15, 8, 8:32, and 9:34 are way after Exodus 21, where he actually hardened the heart. What you the fuck? Know, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to be honest, guys. Y'all y'all motherfuckers lost me on this one. Oh, you don't know All your right, Bible yeah. like I do, I guess. No, um, I went to <laughs> or church every every week, and I don't know anything about hardening hearts. Uh, That's great. Harden those hearts. I don't get how you guys who went to Bible school for so long the same way I did didn't pick, like, some of it up, too. Like, how I, do you not remember I it all? did. I, I know well, how I did. Did Kyle did you go to ever, Bible school? I didn't know that. I went to church, you know, every morning, you know. I every morning, that's a busy shit. church schedule. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Every, every, you know, You're every like, morning, Kyle, it's you know, Wednesday. You... Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> no, we went every... We really we went... appreciate your devotion to the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> we went we... seven days a week. There was there was communal wine, so why wouldn't you be there? Oh, okay, and, you yeah. know, you go, you, go to, you go to Sunday school. Oh, you, you were know? learning, and... so you could start your own church Honestly, Sunday. Honestly, I got suckered with that VeggieTales propaganda. You know, I I loved it. They put on the Larry the Cucumber and whatever the fuck the tomato... Archibald, Archibald the the fucking... What what is that, what is that called? Asparagus. Asparagus. Yes. <laughs> oh, those were good. You know, yeah. Chiz is right. That series still holds up. You and know it what? It teaches you how to live your life. <laughs> I bet you that. Uh, I bet I you that. I live my life by that cucumber every day, and what it told me to do. I bet you there's porn of Veggie Tales. I, I just wonder if you could use VeggieTale lines to pick up Tinder chicks. Like, this no. is definitely no. porn of VeggieTales. <laughs> <No. laughs> Kyle jumped no. in quick on that one. Uh, uh, total no. failure. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're looking this for must, Simpsons, Woody. I don't need the Lord to harden me. You make me harder than the Pharaoh's heart. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're sluttier than Jezebel, who was eventually Ooh. beheaded. That's true. <laughs>
Pickle Rick and Larry the Cucumber. I don't want to watch yeah. that. No, it's don't. just a picture. There's no video. It's, Bump it's that. Just... <laughs> Get that from the generous. I just uh, look. That's that's. This is what modern day America has brought to us: Veggie Tales, Rick and Morty, porn, pickle, cucumber crossover. I and, just went back uh, to my tabs, and frankly, that image of those two pickles making out isn't half as revolting as that goddamn banquet dinner. <laughs> <laughs> What I don't know what, which one that was, like which dinner. <laughs> it Does it matter? Does it the, matter? That was like, All right, I'm calling an audible on a shot because none of us are as drunk as we need to be at this point where oh, you we need to be a little, a little better, yeah. everyone. She yeah. says, damn straight, thank you for the support. Glug, 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 glug. Bad people. There's a decent amount of this gone. I'm going to do a, do a little. Me? My second. <laughs> I've been through a couple of these. <laughs> Not today. No, not today. That's, that's always whenever I wake up in the morning after a, if I do like a, a drinking stream over like eight hours or something like that, which in reality seems a lot worse when you wake up when you see your your half gallon of alcohol is half done and you're like, oh man. But it's over eight hours, so it's okay. You know, it's not the quantity; it's the pacing. That's true. <laughs> half of a, a gallon, a half of a half gallon is. A, a lot, a lot of it's a lot of a lot of liquor. But it's that's, a fifth, wait, that's a that's a fifth of alcohol over a couple hours. That's yeah. or over, a, a whole fifth of alcohol over eight hours is a lot. I mean, we're getting there. Cheaper than therapy. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's and it only yeah. hits you years from now, and then you have just only I know, a couple I still years have to regret a, it. Yeah, I still have uh, five five years before I'm thirty, which means that that's that's plenty of time. Which one of you is younger? I tell you, you're twenty six. I just I'll turned twenty five. I'm about to turn twenty seven. Oh, okay. I turned twenty five last month. <sighs> okay. Yes, yeah, so I'm only like two years older than Tucker. Not not even that. So. <sighs> Thank God, alcohol has calories because that is what holds you makes back me from being a real degenerate. Drink. Yeah, because it'll be like. You know, a Tuesday or something, be like, man, a beer with dinner or something, or a couple beers would be really good. And it's like, ah, that's like adding three more sandwiches into the mix. That's really your 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 limit, because sometimes I'll be like, man, I'm really hungry, but like a good beer for lunch would really solve that, so I can wait till dinner. See, yeah, it's different for you because you have the the issue of I, not being able to gain weight. Yeah, I can't I can't put on or, weight. I've been as, trying. I overeat, and so. Like oh. I, I, I love to overeat, and so I can't drink whenever I want. Like, and also like it's, I think it's better just to, for the most part, keep it to Friday and Saturday, just so that yeah, you don't no, feel oh, bad. Absolutely. You're like I'm making up for all that, all that, you know, thousands of calories that you drank. You gotta put it in your, the you, you, you just gotta put it in your butt. Like that's the clear answer. Like, I'm not like, gonna go down that road with you, Kyle. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not so hell bent. Like the enjoyment in drinking is not necessarily getting drunk. Like getting drunk is nice, but I enjoy the act and the taste of most of the alcohol that I'm doing. I don't enjoy going out to a bar and being like, "We're only doing shots today." Like that's not enjoyable. But like if we're going out to a nice bar and they've got good drinks and I'm enjoying it, that's cool. It's you know. So if you were like. Here's a pill. It'll get you smashed. I'd be like, I'd rather not. Like that seems like it takes all the effort out of it. What are we linking yeah. here, Kyle? Ah, just just, just ways to help uh, Taylor <laughs> along here, right? Uh, ah, the fucking Eros fountain, seven point <laughs> six inch lifelike squirting dildo, ejaculating penis vibrator vibe, with suction Whips. cup. Yeah. Female master for female masturbation. Why not male masturbation? See, and so what you do with this is you put, I guess that purple thing is the, no, that's the battery charger. Where the hell is the liquid? Is it in the penis? Yeah, you, you, you fill it up, and then I assume you, uh, you just squeeze. Yeah, you got a little pump handle. And it, uh, this and is, so not only do you, are you drinking the alcohol through your ass now, now you're just penetrating yourself for fun in the midst of it. Well, no? you got to get in there somehow. What, do you think this is better than a... I have one of these. I, I don't think we're looking. Are we looking at a 100 meter, 100 milliliter <laughs> syringe with anti plastic tubing? No, no we're, we're looking at Bonnie, any W Q W E W E W S slash B1 vibrating 7.6 inch lifelike squirting dildo ejaculating penis vibrator vibe with suction cup for female masturbation. 
Oh, that was a really I, good read right we're there. Just talk, we're, we're looking to get <laughs> the calories out of, of <laughs> We're hey. looking to get the calories out of uh, Taylor's alcohol intake, and I and figured I, out I solved what we could it. Do. He suggested um, putting it in my ass. Yeah, <laughs> but I also I like drinking it, like, and I like going out with friends. You or haven't being even with friends tried the alternative and drinking though. It. And I can't be like, man, this is a fun night of drinking, guys. Let me go to the bathroom again. <laughs> you haven't uh, drank anything all night. Oh, little do you know. <laughs> uh, don't, don't, look at the, don't look at the back of my pants. There's a little leakage. And there's a reason that my fucking you know, can, <laughs> ass looks so poofy today. Can girls chug with their vagina? No. Uh, yes, I don't, I don't you think can. It's um, that, that's going to cause all kinds of problems. Come on. I, oh, Kyle, please. you're not thinking inside Hold the on. box. Huh? See, See? That, <laughs> that's good. That, okay. Well done. That was a good one. I, 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 uh, <laughs> my mom works for uh, some Baltimore inner city schools in the in the in the school district, and before she switched to uh, mental dis- uh, kids with mental uh, disabilities, Sorry. she worked in a nor- she worked in a normal one, and uh, one of the things that actually happened was a girl soaked her tampon in uh, vodka <laughs> for the school dance and put it up there and got really drunk and then uh, they had to send her to the uh, ER because they were afraid that she would get alcohol poisoning because your ability to absorb toxins is much quicker yeah, and, and, none e- of it's and it's easier. Out. Yeah, so I'm so thankful yes. we had an expert on the topic in the call. Look, I, you know, I knew there was a reason Man. you invited me How, on here. Like... So did she like dip the whole applicator in? No, no, and then no. Just, just let uh, it soak for a while, and then use the like get it all up there. That's actually that's a good question. I just assume that she used one of the re reusable applicators. That Snopes. You just in. Oh, okay. Snow. According to Snopes, this is false. Uh, oh, okay. Snopes. Whoa. You mean that site that was run by a uh, what? That dude who cheated on his wife that he started the site with with a prostitute, didn't he? I don't oh, know. How does that, 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 that diminish his ability to determine whether vodka-shaped tampons are being used to to get girls fucked up at dances? He's just like, trying like... to corner the market. <laughs> so, I don't even bother researching this. Oh, I, gotta... <laughs> <laughs> I, I you know feel what? like my issue with it is wouldn't the like tampons swell up and be kind of large if you were to soak it in? Yeah, exactly. That's Nick what Hall I was saying. Would... That's why yeah. you'd have to keep it in the applicator while oh, you were doing it. that's what you were saying. Oh, wow. Yeah. But how absorbent is it in its compressed state? I don't know. I've yeah. never put a, a tampon in anyone's vagina. Well, really? this requires some experimentation. Honestly, I'm going to soak tampons and put it in my ass. <clears throat> I, you I, know what? I want you to to tweet me when you do that so I can you know, follow next the real-time Next episode, updates. let's get Cat Gun. You know what? This <laughs> yeah, is like, just, oh, my God. Cat. Just say it. <laughs> is she ever... still doing her thing? Yeah, I, I think so. Still? Yeah, it's... yeah. Cat, cat. I I ran into her like la- last year. Uh huh. How's she doing? Recently, I ran into her. You know, oh, okay. I like I I know her as an acquaintance, not anything more than that. I thought maybe you were on top of the scene. I know she's a I Twitch am... streamer. Oh no, there's too many Twitch streamers. It's like it's very reminiscent of uh like YouTube four years ago, where it's like, oh, do you watch this guy? No, I don't watch this person that has a million subs because there's 400,000 of them, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Everybody's a big streamer now. Yeah, not, not me. <laughs> not, <laughs> not I. I feel like such an old man when I go to Twitch. I'm like, he's not even doing anything right now. He's waiting for 11 more dollars before he slaps this guy. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll tune back in later. <laughs> That's how I feel. I, I, maybe the internet's ruined me. Like, uh, I like live stream highlights. But live streams just watching steady, they're not wall to wall entertainment for me. And I, I fucking on. love it. I fucking love it. I, I, I like tuning into Ice and uh, and watching the just whatever the fuck he's doing. You know, like like like, like some of the, it's just so fucking crazy, right? Like 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 when Him he had those specifically, people... he is a very unique case in the very the large sea of content creators. Yeah, I I, I mean I, I watched Filthy stream a couple days ago. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I enjoyed that. He was streaming a little Civilization Five, which I hadn't seen him do in a while. I donated a good a little bit of money. Uh, it, it, that's what got me back into playing Civ recently. Which, by the way, I'll, I'll make this quick. But you know, if you want to play Civ Five with me and my friends, uh, do so. Download the LEK mod, like mod, and uh, come play with us because we need people to beat up on. You know who I'll watch if I catch him? Give you one guess. 
Wings? Wings of Redemption. If Wings of Redemption is streaming, I'll tune in, just keep it around, and wait for him to start getting mad at people. <laughs> That's Look, all see, I want. See, the thing is, J Squared <laughs> is about to see his Twitch uh, career just plummet. It's about to be ruined because he started taking antidepressants, and while they haven't technically kicked in yet, he is under this placebo oh, effect. J squared where... is Jordy Jordan. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, you sneaky cunt. From henceforth, call him J squared, please. Does J squared. Dislike J squared. He doesn't know about J squared because I just made it up. Ah, okay. okay. <laughs> that okay, he knows. Now, if you really want to make it mad, call him Richard. Because <laughs> that's not his name, and he gets mad, and ask him who that picture is behind him if it's his father. Uh, Everybody knows that people named Richard tend to go by Dick. My uncle's nick name is uh, Richard Boner. He recently oh, I said, like that. uh, "That's I'm really glad, funny." Good for I'm glad just threw this out there because uh, he also said yesterday he doesn't know if he's going to get the surgery uh, on stream in, uh, in Mexico. And, Wait, the way uh, Chiz phrased that. He's going to get the surgery on stream no, 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 in no, Mexico? No, no, no. He, he phrased it poorly. He doesn't know if he's going to get the surgery in Mexico. Yeah, Mexico doesn't have internet. We all know that. Yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's, I've lost my $5 to Woody. Woody bet that he would not it, get surgery fun. this year. I bet that it I, wouldn't happen this year. And by mid-April, Kyle's like, take your five. <laughs> <laughs> We're not even close to the end. It's not even halfway through. Woody's won the bet by... by <laughs> that was a fool. Jesus. Uh, was I, that well, bad? Well, he has taken your... He has taken your... Oh, what was that? Oh, what was that song I recorded the other day that I sent you guys? Oh, um... We trailer yeah. is the place to be. Twitch streaming is the life for me. Waistband stretching out so far <laughs> and tight. He'll keep your money and improve his double wide. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that is fucking good. That's actually pretty fucking clever. That's what, that's what has happened, folks. He is not getting that surgery. He is hit watch. I guarantee you within the next like eight months. He'll get a new fucking floor in that trailer. He'll get a new roof. There'll be a new porch on that bitch. Wings trailer is the place to be. Twitch streaming, it's the life for me. Waste fans stretching out so far and tight. He'll keep your money and improve his double wide. Wow. Pepsi. That's yes. I'm Welcome super to the impressed that you, that you knew that off the top of your head, <laughs> Kyle. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, you know, I sing it for all my friends and family. They're, they're, they're very much uh, uh, into the, the Wings of Redemption uh, lifestyle. So, so, yeah, everybody I know I introduce to Wings and, and all the, the, the Wings universe. It's like the Marvel universe, the MCU, but uh, it's, it's the Wings universe. You What's know, it, it, it has Mr. Big, right? That's the one song. Yeah, Mr. Biggs takes that shit to trial. What? Takes that shit. Uh, the guy well, Big this... style. Okay, the Wings parody. Okay. Yeah, 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 that thing. That had to be our peak. That was... Like 40,000 views now. Great job. I, I want to say who did it. I don't think he would even care. But I won't, I guess, unless, until he like... I know, actually. This person care. takes his anonymity very seriously. He just says he doesn't care. I, I, I won't say it, I guess. But, I... but we all know him, and we really like him, and uh, we're very mm -hmm. proud of him. And we want more content out of him. It, yes. That was, that, was, that was gold. That was a who are, nice... Who are we very proud of? I'm sorry, I missed it. The, uh, the gentleman who did uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Big Shot, or whatever it is, the, the, the Wings big trailer. Big Man, maybe? Mr. Big Guy. Mr. Big Guy. Okay. Like, like, I'll be playing... You know, we're playing video games, and I'll like just randomly start singing it, and everybody knows exactly what I'm singing, and they'll all start cracking up. It's stuck in my head know? for a week. I swear Stop to God, it. right? Like, like I'm cleaning the pool, and it, it, it's, you know, I'm humming it. It's, oh my God, it's so catchy. I don't know. Have, what have is heard the it? original song? Like, what is it? It's, um, I know it, I don't but know. I can't name it. Mr. Blue Sky or something? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's, and the thing is, like, part of my, like, I listen to a lot of music while I, uh, while I play video games and stuff, and, uh, I listen to the, um, if you go on YouTube, I, I listen to my music on YouTube. I don't know if that's a rookie move. That's or... weird as fuck. But why not though? Because everything's in playlists. That's play not list. weird. Why is it? Everything's in playlists. Because and... for because the myriad of other better streaming options available. I don't know how they're better because like I, Spotify. 
I don't know how. Oh, you, no, I, uh, what, you're talking about like at home, right? Like just looking at a new yeah, song. You're talking about like in the car. No, I'm talking about literally right here, like on my computer while I play video games. I just go to YouTube, and like it's it literally already made me a mix. Like YouTube automatically made me a mix of the songs that I like to listen to, and I click. It's it's over 50 songs. I click play, and it plays them. It's all the music that I've ever listened to. It's all my favorite songs, and uh, one of them is one of the things I like to listen to is from. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy, like like that, you know that mixtape that that, mm-hmm. that he's, he's listening to. I love that, and that exists on YouTube as like a two hour long video, and I listen to that. And Mr. Blue Sky is is one of those songs. And so when I hear the original, I just crack up. I, just, I, I, I lose it. I start laughing so hard because I, I hear the Wings of Redemption lyrics. Have you heard it, Tucker? The Wings of Redemption. Version? No, I no, I haven't heard the Wings of Redemption version. I've heard the original one. I wish I could play it for you guys. We may have copyright because for sure. Yeah. Oh, the the Wings video? I'm sure of it, yeah, because oh, okay. I, I doubt that um, he did the instrumentals himself and everything, and it'll get picked up. But it is amazing. I I don't know. I'm. It's incredible what weaponized autism can <laughs> achieve. Yeah. Like you see that in every corner of the internet, where someone will be like, "Hey, I'm I'm looking for this, or I want a video of that," and someone will just inexplicably show up. Like four hours later, like with that content, it's like, <laughs> what, what were you doing? Just waiting for some random to make a request before you went and wings and is sifted dreaming. All this shit? Let's stop by. There ain't a mod inside. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> the part where the account gets banned. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're banned. Make a new account next day. Hey. <laughs> And it's so funny because that's literally what we do. Like, not uh, we. I'm not in there. I watch not, anonymously, so people don't know I'm there. I watch anonymously as well under an under an alias. Okay, yeah, I guess. Uh, you know, like 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 the butter golem. <laughs> <laughs> I show up as the butter golem and, and give him a little trolling. Butter golem's banned though, right? There's so many butter golems. You know, you just make oh, another Jesus one. Jesus Christ! I, I didn't know. You know, you make the butter golem and he bans it, and you're like butter golem two, bitch. And then it, they, it's been bothered for so long. Return. It's not. It, it's Golem. It's Gollum. Okay. It's not Gollum. Gollum it's is Golem. a character from Lord of the Rings. It's Butter it's Golem. Golem. Yeah. I know it's Butter Golem. Okay. But I know, I'm, but your when, trolling right now is even bothering me. Like <laughs> <laughs> you trolled Taylor. Butter Smeagol gets in there and he does work. All right. Mm. Like, like like he goes in there and he goes for the heart. Uh, at, 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 it, me and to be and honest, think, I've seen Butter Golem in action. And I think that he goes too hard, <laughs> right? And I don't mean like to mean too hard. Like if I was going for maximum effectiveness, I wouldn't go straight to like the meanest thing I could think of. Like you, you, you'd want him to think like uh, this one's on the edge a little bit. Okay. Oh, I build. Oh, oh, trust me. Like, like, like I maybe I only link mm-hmm. you or like share with you the meanest things I say, but I build. Okay. I build over the course of like thirty minutes. You know, you first you start off and it's va- it's almost even supportive, uh-huh. right? Like, like you know, great stream. It's amazing what you've been able to achieve with a man as a man with so many disabilities. <laughs> you know, like, 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 like it's like a backhanded kind of thing, right? And then you go from there until you're the point where you're like insulting his mother or his father or something, right? Like that, right? So you really go for the man. The... So yeah, saying yeah. that he's doing well for a man with disabilities is where you start the escalation. <laughs> yes. Right? Yes. I would say that. Okay, so you start, you know, three quarters of the way down the track. And then, and then... You know, I'm just trying to make Chiz laugh, you know? You know, and, and, and the other people in my, in my little Discord, you know, they, they all get a kick out of it. We read, whenever we're watching a wing stream, we read. Normally we've got like uh, our Discord like private chat is called um, what's it called? It's like PKA gaming chat or like private PKA gaming or something like that. Private PUBG crew, that's what it's called. Yeah, Chiz helped me out. Um, but whenever we watch Wings, I change it to whale watching. And- <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm not a part of this. I'm not. I, I'm I did not a, see I'm it one night. That's just a whale funny. watching expedition, <laughs> and all of a sudden everybody's like, "Hey, can I get in on the on the expedition?" Like, like they'll be like, the "Expedition!" <laughs> like, like people who don't even play PUBG, they're like, "Ah, oh, I want in! I want in! I'm watching! I was already watching!" They know. They know what it's about. They they, they get it. Wow. And you know, we go in there, but but like I said, like there's no new content. Um, I I hope he's doing healthy. You know, it sounds it seems what, bad. He says you know, that he's not getting the surgery. Right? I, I hope I'm not spreading a false rumor, but I read it right on the internet, so 
There's so, no so, better so, source. so if he were here, he would say, I'm absolutely getting the surgery. I'm waiting on my like doctors to, to okay everything. But the truth is they're never going to okay it because he's an incredibly obese man. Who, he's only declining, right? He's gaining he's, weight week after week after week. It's not like yeah. his blood work's going to come back clean. Exactly. Like, 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 yeah. It's almost as if he's the only one talk. who wasn't aware <laughs> that, that he was obese and unhealthy. He, he's like shocked by it. He's like, oh, I'm not I'm not doing well. I thought I was fine. I'm a young man of 32. Like, like no, no, the, you're, you're, you're 32 years old and you're, you're, you're getting close to a quarter ton. And and of course, like surgery is a dangerous option. That's why you're going with it, because if you don't do it, you'll be dead by 40. Right, you know, you, you know, some yeah, sort of cardiac. Thirty-five-year-old him that surpasses a quarter ton isn't going to do any better in this surgery. No, not at all. Um, I, I watched some video the other day. Um, this guy made a video about wings, and I want to say it was like 10, 12 minutes long, and it was dark. He was like, I, I think he had a British accent. Um, I don't remember what the guy's name is, but he's like, "This is Wings of Redemption, professional e beggar," and he like broke down. It. You saw that? Yeah, he did one on Boogie too. He did one on Boogie, and I like Boogie a lot, but that was a lot of... I thought it was inaccurate with the Boogie one. A lot of it is his own thoughts and theories on stuff. It wasn't, like, backed by research or oh, anything. Oh, over here. What, what? I'm sorry? I'm getting a bit drunk over here. You are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I definitely couldn't love Kyle getting a little drunk right now? Here, let's... Uh, we're about two hours in. Time for our next shot. Oh. <sighs> Are you fucking kidding me? I feel like we just... <laughs> Taylor, I'm with you. Well, uh, before, uh, but real quick, before we get to that, Kyle, I think uh, I need an advertisement. An advertisement. Taylor's coming off really sober to me. Does anyone else think he needs a double shot? No, Taylor drinks. I... Taylor drinks on a on a daily basis. I feel like Taylor, Taylor, I feel like I feel like you just uh, are coming no. off very drunk, Woody. No, Taylor drinks more than we do. That's that that's what's going on here. It's tolerance. It's all about more tolerance. than you. You, you need to shelve it, Taylor. You're making us all look bad. Yeah. All right, let's. I've um, I you know I, I'm not doing <laughs> shots here, so I don't know how much I'm drinking every time. So I'm doing a good bit of one of these, but but a I, good, a good bit. A good. I'm drinking like less than like Kyle. Kyle I'm holds this gold. thing up to the camera, and I'm like. Well, that looked like fuck, a, that I'm not going like to do that. Little... I might not yep. even get credit for medium. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I do a gulp every time. It's, it's not a contest or anything, but gulp. I don't know. Like it, my mouth is full. I couldn't drink anymore every time I, 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 uh, I take a shot. I'll tell you but, this: um, when I peed, I used the wall to hold myself up. If that's that's funny. Indicator. We've all <laughs> oh, been there. That is <laughs> a normal <laughs> night. Like, it's, like that, it's great like, when you go. Oop. Isn't that the part that you remember so? Like, like for me, that's the most memorable part of when I'm drinking is that moment when I'm where you're pissing and you're sort of like in your own head, like, all right. Yes, all right, it's the re, had, it's it's the reset period yeah, where you have to tell yourself, oh, you you speak out loud, you're like, you're drunk, you're drunk, and you know yeah, it, but I'll you're gonna go out there because Woody said I should. Okay. All right, yeah. you're drunk. You're drunk, but you're not going to do anything stupid. You're not going to make a fool of yourself this time. This time. <laughs> this time. <Yeah. laughs> you, you're not going to make a fool of yourself don't, again. <laughs> don't insult anyone. I'm not a lion. I'm just going to have to use the shitty end pieces. <laughs> no, where you just squeeze the three drops into just, your mouth and you're like, ah. When I haven't been even doing salt. All right, drunk. time for another shot, is it? I yep. It is. Yes. Time right. um, for well, another. For you two. <laughs> for, for all of us. Well, I just did one with you prior to you doing this. Is... Oh, what you don't have doing? to. Tucker, you've been drinking like a champ, man. Oh, I know. But I haven't it's... been observing that. That's fine. Really? Oh, <laughs> Tucker's been the like audience, on his own independently The audience will shots. observe. I have to. I have to stand my ground. Stand your ground. That's the sigh that we all want to hear. Halfway. <laughs> 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 I didn't mean to be argumentative. I was just... <laughs> Why do you have luggage in your background? Me? Um, I Jack, always only leaving him. Jackie's leaving him. We didn't <laughs> talk about it. Um, I really have to nitpick. It's the real reason why color. we're doing a drinking episode. It's, uh, <laughs> Jackie it's and sad. Colin actually just came back. They went to New Jersey to handle estate stuff having to do with her mother. Um, well, that's much sadder than what I said. <laughs> I don't even yeah, see it. Yeah, it's the... really yikes. What a downer. Jesus. Make something up. Lot, fuck. Right? They had a lot of fun out there. <laughs> You're like, ah, they went on a little uh, vacation. <laughs> Couldn't afford like, Disney World or Disneyland. They went to a Disney area in, <laughs> in New Jersey. 
<laughs> oh, uh, let's watch Woody take the shot. I don't like all smelling right, it. I don't like. Yeah, I just... All right, can Woody, I say, Woody, so, you are a champion, and you've got this. So, like, I'm not an I'm not an alcohol expert or anything, but I watch this channel. I, I can't think of the name of it right now, but it's this it's this uh, small bald guy who looks a bit Shoot like. Nice. Uh, and uh, and he does these liquor reviews Shoot and like, oh. the blind tasting of all of the orange liqueurs. And when they got to this one, the Grand Gala, he was like, "Oh, it smells like ass." But when they tasted it, it the, it it sort of won the tasting for all of the like brownish, orangish, orange liqueurs. The only things that stood up to it were like Curacao, which is a very blue cur- <laughs> blue <laughs> blue crack, which is a fairly expensive uh, orange liqueur. Um, so this is really, really the, the best tasting of the orange liqueurs, but it it has a foul smell. Uh, I, I'm not a huge fan of the smell. I really am not. My uh, Tito's is sweating on my desk, and I'm worrying about my uh, desk getting warped because it's just been. Oh man, because of the, the amount of condensation. Like, on Like yeah, because I took bottle. it right out of the freezer, and like it's been in there for three days, and now it's just leaking. I got a uh, I got a desk where the entire desk surface is a mouse pad. Like literally, the entire desk is one giant. That it's sounds a- terrible to clean. It's a seven and a half pound mouse pad that's machine washable. Like that this, sounds great. Whenever sure. I like, like if I I haven't done it yet because I, I'm careful. But if I ever spill anything on it, you throw the whole fucking thing in the washing machine. It's a, it's pretty cool. What um, are we talking about? I got the, my desk. My desk. The entire desk surface. In, oh, that's right. It's like a giant mouse pad. Yeah, the entire surface of the desk is a mouse pad, uh, which is pretty pretty slick. If you ask me, I, I'm a big fan. It, yeah, I I like uh, my I lips use a taste gl- like Grand Gala. That's Your what tastes like Green Gala? My lips, like, yeah, man. There's it's a little a, extra on there, like you save it. Interesting. Are you still enjoying? Or actually, this yeah. is a are proper time to ask. Are you? Have you noticed a lessening in the bite of your drink and more oh, just? Yeah. Oh, the orangey, the orangey flavor is really overpowering more than the alcohol. I think I have, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't even taste the alcohol at this point. The um, th- there's so much sugar in this shit, though. I'm barely tasting this tequila at this point. I, yeah, so this that's point, not a I've good been... sign. This is a terrifying thing to realize. Oh, I can just do these all day. <laughs> I know yeah, that, that. Uh, my, my real problem with drinking uh, comes and when... And that mixed drink, real quick, for the viewers that I'm drinking, there are two no, shots you showed us. You these. showed us at the start of the episode. Maybe it wasn't on stream, but you said, hey, and my mixed drink, and it was a sizable portion. So you were Quite not shorting. You were not shorting your mixed drink. But yeah, okay. I, yeah I was going to say I just... That's so, just. That's anyway, nice. sorry, I jumped right in. Are you having a mixed drink to complement your shots? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> welcome, to, welcome to being an adult, Woody. That's how adults do. I love welcome that Tucker to told me how to be an adult. <laughs> hey, Mister Twenty Years Older Than Me, you learn how to be an adult. <laughs> this, is, this is how you handle the pain inside. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, you. You you be single for a couple of years, and you tell yeah. me how good this tastes. You're right. <laughs> going to be trashed in two hours at this rate, and that is that's the goal. That's the whole point of a drinking episode. We do one of these what I'm going every out. other year. I <laughs> scheduled I scheduled a uh, a a little a little thing at 10 p.m. tonight. So I was like, I'm just going to cruise into the bar, just like <laughs> sufficiently there. I just want you all to know this. I dreaded this all day. No, I'm fucking good. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just solid. I'm just really <laughs> cruising. You dreaded it all day, Woody. But are, are, well, are I was you looking feel- forward to are, it. I was too. Are Are you feeling it now though? Are Are you like, oh, this isn't so bad? There, it, I mean, it, both of the extremes exist in my head. Like, part of me is like, you know, this is kind of pleasant. I'm drunk. Like, it's a fun thing. Another part of me is like, my face is hot and this headset got smaller. And You're making way too much sense right now. You're not nearly drunk enough. We, oh. We're going to get there, though. Woody's oh. being too logical right now. Right? Uh, you're, Woody, honestly, you're not slurring your words at all. You're speaking concisely. There's, you know, you know when you're about to get like uncomfortably drunk when you start trying to say stuff and you slur, but in your mind you're like, why are you doing this? That's so fucked up. Just say the words, and you're like, just forge ahead. Just come on, just just say the words. It's like I want Woody so drunk that that Jackie dare not question him when he walks out of this room. <laughs> she's, she's sort just of trembling a little bit in fear drunk. as she sees him stagger down the hallway. I'm shocked Jackie, that you I want guys some are chicken, acting. and if you cook it on that fucking grill, I'm going to punch you. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Everybody likes the doors fry it on the pan in vegetable oil. Put some panko flakes on it. I'm going to be in bed. <laughs> Time to talk about your fucking chili. <laughs> <laughs>
I, I went went last week and got chilly. It was three or four times better than yours. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Favorite story I've ever heard where you were complaining about your your wife's chili. <laughs> that went semi-viral. It got like a quarter million views or something. You just need to introduce her to the better chili. That's really funny. Uh, I love because that is a very funny clip of you <laughs> ripping on her chili yeah, and then her coming in, and then the screenshot of your face as you look to the side and do like the. <gasps> like, <laughs> it's like oh, she knows. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fellas, call another audible. Time for another shot. Oh, I'm down you. with it. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Uh, I gotta get I a, it's time for a shot. Thing. I gotta grab a mixer. We didn't talk about article uh, audibles in the pregame planning. The, you never talk about audibles. It's just something you call. What I don't is... know what it fully means. I think it means when you change the play that your coach called for football, but yeah. I also only played football for two years, so I don't know. Seems like but I'm calling one. Inaudible. One of my favorite. These, are, these are my favorite two. The, the fact that like you can see his dress shirt like stretching into that diamond shape that it does when you're too <laughs> fat for it to fit, like on different buttons, like between buttons. It's like it's, it's hilarious. These right, are my let's, favorite. Let's wait for two. Tucker, and then we'll all do one. I made a mistake. Are you sorry about me? I, what mistake? I've, I've made a mistake. <laughs> I poured a Kyle size glass on that one. There's you a... got it, Woody. Woody, you're. No one has ever accused you, or no one should ever accuse you of bitching out on these drinking episodes. No, I. The no. couple I've been on, I haven't you have seen gone him take hard. a dildo yet, so I, I'm just gonna <laughs> bitching out big time. All right, you know Until what? You take it up the ass with Everclear. You're not a real man. That's just called being an adult, and you need to teach your audience that it's okay to say no sometimes. No, no, no. I think Kyle makes some valid <laughs> points here. <laughs> it's also you're a bitch, but it's okay to say no. You're gonna need Everclear in your in in, in, in your butthole before. Do you know Everclear is illegal in some states? Uh, it depends on what kind. The the one you can get fucking the drive through whatever. Can I drink this because I'm just smelling it? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Didn't realize this I'll, was a problem. I don't know that I had to wait. Actually, I, I'm. Forgive me. You I don't. You I can just do this. Uh, All right, gang. Oh, We're good. OJ there. All right. Kyle, will you give me a cheers? Yeah. Yeah. Let me pour a drink. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. Let me pour. Yeah. I like a little OJ. <laughs> yeah, to talk to doing deconstructed drinks in his mouth. You have to swish it around to make. No, I it. just gotta make sure that my mouth doesn't taste all like a surgeon. Uh, all right. What do you? Yeah, well done. Well it done. smells Cheers. fucking awful. I'm just really proud that. of you. I am. I am. Kyle, have I'm you drank from that yet? No. This is That's the first time mine was bigger than yours. I don't mean to like cock measure because you beat that me is every time. I okay. was gonna say something earlier. Your the the shot before this one, you held up and it looked like somebody had collected the backsplash from a <laughs> urinal. Like that was the amount. That's a that's a sizable one and a half two ounce shot. That's like a that's a that's a mouthful. I don't know if that that one might one. be bigger than the one I just had, but it's in yeah, the same class. Yeah, they've all been honestly, they've all been mouthfuls. Yeah, um, Kyle has not been sissing out. Uh, no, nobody I, here has been sissing out. Frankly, like. I would Frankly, say this of anyone, speaks more about us than of anyone. Kyle has been drinking. Or just says I'm watching closely, <laughs> but uh, Kyle's been taking quite a few doubles. So I would oh. say of anyone, Kyle probably has the most alcohol in his system right now. Which if I were is a to, prize, uh, try to drive, you win wait, currently. Wait, if I, I, if I were to try to drive to Burger King right now, I'd kill three people on the way. <laughs> And that's think, surprising because, oh wait, no, you no longer live in a rural area. I was gonna, oh, that would have been a funnier joke. Fuck. Yikes. Are you okay? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You should uh, include a straw poll in who who manned up the most. Put it in the description oh. of your video. I hope they grade that on a curve. I'll get my ass kicked <laughs> otherwise. I, I think it should be graded on a curve it should because be, because Woody should doesn't be graded on you a curve. You haven't and, drank and, in a like, year. Like, like, I, no, 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 no. Woody, Woody hasn't drank in since our last drinking episode, which was a year and a half, almost two years ago, because it was like a hundred episodes ago or so. I'm super. I I'm, think. I feel special. And so, if you're grading on a curve, Woody wins. <laughs> Woody absolutely Woody wins. wins this because I can't Woody is the only happen. one. Like all three of us drink a couple times a week, and. Woody does not at all. My flame and you're tastes keeping a little bit. Up. I was like, that's gala. very generous of you. 78 weeks ago. Thank you, Chiz. So that's oh. a year oh. and a third. 
of the way. Oh, well, this is honestly shit. the most. This is the Buddy, most. How do you talk to women? I just talked to the same one, really. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's just the same one. I already got her picture. I've given no. her all the lines. <laughs> yeah. right. Shrinking doesn't do anything for me. Any- yeah, all right. And to- here we go with the next shot. Friends. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, you, oh you, you just want to oh, you you. corrupt her and like put oh, something right. weird in her butt. All right, no, Kyle, pour I wanna, yourself what? the next grand I want to talk to her about Jesus. I know what he's going to pour his next I wanna grand I want to talk gallon. to her about dildos that squirt alcohol. Oh, Jesus Christ. We got to get Woody drunker because Woody is hilarious. Go. He's not nearly drunk enough. Oh, I know. Fuck something. you. Oh, my there's God. I'm the least, most drunk, there's, and I feel <laughs> bad. All, absolutely not. We've doubled everything you've drank. Second Woody, off, let me... Yeah, okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, I was just going to say, right we're, we're all very impressed with the, qu- the the quips that have been coming out of your mouth today. They've been you. top tier. Me? You. You. Yes. You been, haven't even said you've been, anything. You've been quipping. What, that's what you think till tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you've been quipping quite a bit, and it's been good. I recall none of them. <laughs> yeah. Well, tomorrow morning, you're going to wake up and go, oh, ah, no, I made shit. a fool of my. I got to edit <laughs> well, this out. Uh, all right, last gonna video, quick, we, we're gonna do a we quick fished, shot. we went sailing, we we did a lot of things, and only got 100,000 views. But this week, here's the latest pussy. Quarter million. Yeah. Here's a topic people have brought up. Uh, they've been like, oh, Taylor, like your teeth look way different now. So I got my bite fixed, finally. Oh, you did? Yeah, 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 I got it totally fixed. Like So now, like when I bite down... Like my jaw actually, or my teeth rather, like actually lock in place, like it it stays in the same spot. And what they had to do was go into my front like eight teeth, and my back bottom molars, and add like this composite shit where they put like a thin layer. Yeah, they had <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, they freak. Had, oh freak. <laughs> they uh, so like. You probably didn't notice because you've only the viewers have only ever seen my teeth one way, but you can't tell through the screen as much. My teeth were ground down to shit. Oh, like yeah, apparently the the normal amount of grinding and destroying teeth is a millimeter per fifty years, and my teeth were ground down well over two millimeters. And so my d- dentist was like, "Yeah, so you have like the grinding that we would see in like." Someone who might be like 125. <laughs> and I was like, oh, well, that's not good. <laughs> and you're like, wow, I can't do the math, but that's too my, bad. <laughs> my teeth were fucked. Like, they, like I, I take good care of them, but that doesn't help grinding late at night because I, I night grind really bad because my teeth don't line up correctly. Like, my front teeth didn't go over my back teeth. They just lined up on each other. And so they're always looking for a new place to go in the night, and you grind hard as fuck at night because the mechanism that tells you not to grind isn't active during the night. And so he went through, put all the tips and pieces back on my teeth that I had ground down to shit. And now, like, I'm waking up for the first time in years. Years. Like, in as long as I can remember, where like I just assumed everybody woke up in the morning with like jaw pain and like <laughs> like a slight headache. I feel like, so bad for you, because man. Because I, I ground so bad, and now like that I'm I'm I have teeth that bite correctly. I'm like, man, waking up in the morning is like awesome. Like you don't have a bunch of pain. <laughs> like you, your jaw doesn't hurt. He told me I have the largest masseter muscles of anyone he's ever seen. And he's in the Midwest. In his, Let's not in, talk he's about in it. his sixties. He's Taylor, in his sixties. If Lefty were here right now, Taylor, what would you say to him? I'd say <laughs> I am. I am so sorry for being <laughs> such a cunt to you, dude. I I wish I could talk to him again just so I could say I'm 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 sorry. Like that, I I was such a cunt, such a needless That's asshole how I to know him. You haven't had nearly enough to drink. <laughs> okay, I, I'll I'll have another shot just because for you. because if you had a couple more drinks, you would know that the, the lefty's a crippled, you know, waste of time and space. You know, dude. The biggest like... thing I had against lefty at that point in time is that it was in when the Blackhawks were in their like streak <laughs> of greatness, and I knew he was a Chicago fan, and that gave me so much anger, where it was like. <laughs> I bet you didn't even care about him six years ago, did you? I cared six years ago, you know? <laughs> and we sucked then, too. Like, But 
anyway, yeah, I, w- I would say that's Man, a lot. But, but, but to the teeth listened. thing, like, I, I'm still looking at. I, I am so I really fucking happy that my that my teeth line up now. Like, I I don't wake up with jaw pain. <clears throat> like my the sides of my head don't hurt in the morning. Like, I don't know. It's one of those things that you become so accustomed to over years that you don't realize how big of a problem it is. Because my dentist literally took me into like the side consulting room and was like, nice. all right, right now we're gonna we're on operation save Taylor's teeth. Uh, and I was like, Oh, that's not good. I'm gonna be twenty seven soon. That that shouldn't be such an early thing. Which, but I, I had ground my teeth down. Like you know how if you put your finger in the back of your mouth, you can yeah. feel all the points on your molars, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have you none have of those. It's just flat, like a horse it's, or something. It's flat. It's like a. <laughs> how, how often do you smaller. need to get them so, rebuilt? I got my so th- like uh, five years. I had them do the composite thing at first, uh, just to make sure that it would actually work and fix my bite, because these things will last between like a year and five years, and all it is is a thin layer of shit over your teeth. And then they rebuild the points that you ground down. And so it's just a thin layer and then making your teeth the way they should be. And Taylor, would you beat a Shetland pony to death with a baseball bat to fuck Elena? What? Make it ten. The question was clear. <laughs> I know the cra- I was just taken aback by the st- And I we're would... talking about the nicest, cutest Shetland pony you've ever seen. Like he's friendly. He's not one of those like that. Oh bite or no, whatever. you're you're mistaking me for someone who would give a fuck about that. No, <laughs> exactly, right? no, I would I would beat that pony to death with my fist if need be. <laughs> I I would I would burn a Shetland pony alive with a flamethrower while it screamed and whinnied to fuck to fuck Elena. Okay, well. I actually would too, so I can't judge that. I, Kyle, what is, what is something you wouldn't do? To a in a um, I, I think you should just come up with horrible things and ask me if I would do them because I can't think would of you, anything. Would you I fuck would, the pony? Would I? I would absolutely fuck the pony to fuck Elena right after. Yeah, yeah, I'd right, right after, right? It's so it, still lubed up. Yeah, sucking <laughs> off that horse. She juice. has to watch. Um, okay. That, there's nothing you've said that I'm a. I'm I would fuck to. Wings of Redemption in the asshole if it meant that I got to fuck Elena. All right, I'm buzzing out. I'm trying to think of something tougher. Yeah, uh, y- y- do your best. She's not that cute. She is. Oh man, she's very fucking cute. Look at her eyes. She's got great eyes. She's cute as fuck. You man. know what? Th- this is creepy, but I I like right. her because she's Rashad, nice. Anyone who wants to join uh, me? Yeah, well. I got you. Like, buddy. Fuck, I, wish seemed, you, I, wish you I fucking knew Tucker would. The worst about her is when she starts talking. From concentrate, OJ. I don't agree. Drinking. Oh no, I got this from a uh, uh, from an organic LA uh, pop up shop. This Does is... it say not from concentrate? Honest to good freshness is what it says. Let me make sure it says 100% juice. It doesn't say anything about not from concentrate. Then it's from concentrate. <laughs> Hypothetical single Woody. Well, it tastes Is great. Riley. I'm sure. It's... And she's a perfect partner. She learned to drive that boat. I don't care if she could drive the Woody, fuck. you need to pump your brakes and stop saying about single Woody. You know? I just This yeah. is all viewable. Oh, this no. is a VOD. Hypothetical single Woody has been a character on the show for five years Hypothetical now. Hypothetical single Woody. <laughs> <laughs> He's a character we all enjoy. Yeah, I, I don't care if she can sell a fucking boat. Like, is like this she's... really concentrate? I'm pissed. Like, 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 oh, all that means is that they distill it down, I would make it concentrate, just, like, and then re-add water retarded. to make it juice. Would you fuck a mildly retarded chick, Taylor? Like she's Hold got on. an IQ. 90. Hold on. Okay. All right. No, we'll... ninety isn't a uh, ninety isn't is retarded. Up. I would That's have why to I said go mildly retarded. Like like she looks like a lame. I had to like. I had but... sex with somebody right, so, on so the let me spectrum. describe this. Let me describe this. IQ is eighty. She looks like Elena, but she technically can't drive a car. Like she can't even drive a car because they they won't give her a driver's license, and she's like she's real fucked up, right? Like like Honestly, she can't like. If her IQ this. is 80, which 90 is not the cutoff. Like 80 is more semi-retarded. Yeah, I would. 
Uh, I'd, I'd buy her a Happy Meal and and do whatever I wanted. I think, right? I've had sex with somebody. Parents, oh my god! And, and so the Happy Meal is a seduction parents, advice. I thought you were just being nice at first. <laughs> no, it was. It, I was being nice, but also she gets a toy. <laughs> so happy that you're with Elena. Um, you know, Elena. She's, we were Elena. We were so happy that you were Elena. We was very afraid that she would be taken advantage by some, some bogan or uh, some, some, some bogan. I don't know what that means, but that sounds a, funny. What do you mean a bogan is a derogatory air quote term for Australian? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. That's like a, a chive. If you're uh, yeah, chive. What the fuck? Uh, if you're if you're English. <laughs> oh yeah, no no no. It's, it's a, a, I, I know what I know what, it, I know what chives are. But anyway, go ahead, Kyle. Sorry. Yeah yeah. We's afraid she'd get hooked up with some bogan or some dirty Maori or some moldy or something like that. But nice to see her with a with a smart, straightforward white fella like you. We're happy. Do with it as you will, you know. From the US of A. All three holes, whatever you like, you know, take it out on your boat. We you know, do your thing, you know, you just you just explore. Explore her body. <laughs> Like she's the map and sea of thieves. Just hit every corner, you know, fight cannons off. Holy shit, <laughs> she's the map. Uh, so See that plant exactly. I would I would definitely lost. fuck her. I wouldn't be very comfortable with it if she was a retarded person. Where is I, because I, I would like, for hey, my own on. Hey, my uh, own I feel like I have to reason I don't want to fuck to anyone who's myself. retarded. That's I fuck somebody that, with Asperger's. That's what she said. She said, Taylor, give me your feed. Give me your feed, Taylor. I want it in my... Does she talk like that? If she talks exactly like... If she no. talks like that, then I'm out. <laughs> give, give me your feed. <laughs> Do she you just... not want to give me your feed? <laughs> No, I don't. I don't want that. <laughs> if she's an actual retarded person, then I would prefer not to fuck her because that seems all right. So name a, genuinely I mean, de degenerate. I am way too drunk. There's there no any? way I come back from this level of drunkenness without Never. a visit to sick town. You so, do. What do you so, see? So a lot of this is going to be mental toughness. I'm oh. being a hundred. No, yes. no, no. I'm being a hundred percent serious with you. There are times where later in the night you're gonna think. I got to vomit. Okay. And if you have the mental toughness to say, no, you don't, that's just you getting away from yourself. You don't need to do that. You're fine. <laughs> you will be okay. Name like, a celebrity you... that you would fuck even though she was retarded. Wait, who? Wait, I didn't get that. <sighs> Name a celebrity that you would fuck even though she was retarded. Like Scarlett retarded. Johansson could be putting a square peg into a round block and I would fuck her. So Scarlett Johansson can say, I would want people to be my friend, Paylor. I want you to take me on a boat ride. And you'd yeah. still like... Well, I'd, I'd put her on a floaty in the bath, tell what's her so... to boat, and then we'd get in bed. What's yeah. so hot about Scarlett Johansson? <laughs> oh, everything. Her face is... Oh, she's... she's her, her face is perfect. Her body proportions are perfect. Like, she's... She's not super thin. Right. She's curvy in the way that like fat women try and pretend that they're curvy, but like Scarlett Johansson is actually curvy. Like she's got a nice silhouette. Scarjo? She's yeah, Scarjo. She's hot as fuck. So she is my celebrity fuck. Did you watch that movie where she's completely nude in front of the mirror and everything? Yes. Yeah, it's good stuff. I didn't watch the movie, but I watched those clips. Ah, uh, she is really cute. She yeah, is fucking hot. Really, she's fucking really hot. Super hot. Oh, uh, uh, that dumb smirk. Oh. Oh, I don't care about the dumb smirk. I don't care about no, it. I you like Google it. her name, Ooh. and all you get is headshots. Like that's what I'm looking for. Yeah. Right. Oh no, look. For, Go to uh, MrSkin.com. <laughs> yeah, MrSkin.com. MrSkin.com. I... Incredible website. I. I would love to have them as a sponsor so that we could delve into so they have a like a we like still con can delve in isn't that just the site that tells you when people get naked in certain movies? In movies. In movies and any media whatsoever, they have this whole contest every year where they have all these really interesting con categories. You know, the Oscars has categories like best picture, best actress, uh, best uh, cinematographer and stuff like that. They have categories like 
best uh, rear beaver. Or a best, or best frontal nudity. Another best shot, fellas, nudity. because we're getting close. No oh. way. I'm not. Yeah, I got we just you, had a shot 19 <laughs> minutes ago. Uh, honestly? Honest, wait. What? That was the last shot we had. Hey, like, nope, it wasn't. Wait, no, 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 no. The fact this that is... you know, the fact that you know exactly the time to the minute, 19 minutes. I just minutes. looked at it on my screen. It's yeah, 20. Exactly. Don't let spe specificity get in yeah, the way. I, we our, just our had our a judgment. shot 20 minutes and 4 seconds ago. Go. It's not I just hard didn't to realize see. that I was dealing <laughs> with man -made. Shot right now. We're all doing it. Everyone cheers. That's Woody, Woody, Woody I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you to you're cheers. Such a dick. Also, Woody, oh, you're, you're fucking killing Woody, it. I'm, I'm literally too going far out already. After, I'm going out after this. I have people you're that I meet not, after this. You like the fuck Elena, so you totally need more liquor. All right. No, no, no. Let's wait for Woody. And <laughs> God damn it, Tucker. I thought we were gonna, all going to do it together. You're going to have to pour I'm another a, one. I'm a, I'm a lone, I'm a lone I'm man. I'm pouring a small one. Hey, I'm not even uh, lying. I'm pouring a small one. <laughs> I don't blame you. I will say Tucker has quite the uh, the tolerance. It's very impressive. I'm very it, impressive. This what really is impressive. Bitch. Honestly, bitch. Tucker's like, what a you, bitch shot. That was a good shot. But you want to know what? what? I actually what? like the taste of it at this what? point in the night. What wait, was did that you shot? drink it already, Woody? Where? I did drink it already. You're just the waiter. I did. You can check the tape. Everyone knows I drank it. <laughs> I'm not gonna check the tape. I'm out of I feel water. Like Woody did, I feel like Woody didn't drink it. And he's just saying check the tape. <laughs> also, your wife is the MVP. I see her constantly bringing you I'm gonna glasses ask her of water. For another one. I have to get my own water. Oh my I feel god. Like I need to spit. Okay. Does yeah, your spit of, taste don't do like Grand ground. Gala? Don't, don't do it on the ground. Yeah, my spit, of course, to everything inside of me tastes like Grand Gala. Like, 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 I, I, I <laughs> came in a chick's... Yeah, I believe my cum would get you drunk at this point. <laughs> I came in a chick's mouth the other day, and she was like, it tastes vaguely like orange. Uh, that makes sense to me. <laughs> No, um, not a lot of lovey touchy drunks here. <laughs> like, no, yeah. not lovey touchy at all. Like, Mostly you, drunks who are concerned about their social media following. <laughs> <laughs> I, have a, I have a job, all right. I have a, I have a, a, a job that I need to keep up, all right. Coming no. on here is a threat to my livelihood. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's the That's opposite for, for many people but, but I know but for me it's very much I'm like oh no what are we gonna do today <laughs> we're, gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about the cripples I can't talk about the cripples <laughs> oh not the cripples again and the retards the cripple we, I retards. can't even say that word oh my god we we're fucking oh, retard no, cripple faggots cripple. no <laughs> I was at the grocery store today I was, I was driving up to the grocery store I was just going to get some bread and milk and some other bullshit like random shit and, um, Bread and milk. you know, they've got those like hash marks where it's like, oh, this is for people walking only. You know, you have to stop right. ever the crosswalk, uh, I think. And there was a man who weighed, I'm going to guess, 500 pounds in a like electric scooter. And the scooter didn't have the power to haul his enormous girth. <laughs> so his wife or late <laughs> friend, whatever, was towing him. Like a mule. Wait, like, are you kidding me? Like I'm like a like a I'm not making this up. Like like she's towing him like a mule. She has both of her hands behind her, pulling like loving the, it. Like on the front of the, <laughs> the electric scooter, there's like a like a like a basket, like a cart to put your groceries. And she has both hands on it, towing him like a mule. And and I have to stop. To like wait on them to like get past me to their fucking car, so I'm just sitting there, you know, uh, put on the brakes or whatever. And I looked to my left, and there's a black guy there sitting on the bench, and uh, he looks at the fat fuck, and I look at the fat fuck, and then we both look at each other. And I've got my sunglasses on, but I just like raise my eyebrows so so high that like you can tell. And we both crack out, crack up laughing, like looking at each other and like like like, like pointing at the fat guy. It was such a it was such a fucking brilliant moment of me and this random stranger both just just just, just laughing at this freak of nature making his way across the, the, the crosswalk. It was it was a good day. It, 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 I was having kind of a shitty day. You know, I had to go like run a bunch of errands. I don't like doing that. I go to the bank and like change rent, like change my mailing address and do a bunch of routing number bullshit. And I'm paying some taxes. And it's, it's boring. It's not it's no fun. But when I got to mock a fat man with a random stranger at the supermarket today, that really perked me up. Made me feel good. I hate fat people. I hate them. <laughs> okay. 
because I see in them my own weakness. Like I'll, I see in You're fat like, people I, my but, own it, gluttony. It, to be like, fair, you I, did where it's say like if I ate everything I wanted to, I would be fat. If you could exterminate one group of people, exterminate them from the earth, any race, any creed, any religion, any uh, in any way you categorize people, whether it be uh, appropriate cashiers so that move too slowly, people who uh, people who like that's mayonnaise. Your that's your that's your like. I must rise up and fight the cashiers. Woody is hard on the cashiers, but they're making minimum wage, and he's. Usually filming them. Which Fuck them. They're giving yeah. me attitude. They, 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 they like look at at, at <laughs> the things I'm buying and and like judge and then key in something and fucking piece by piece move it. That's my group. All right, let's do another one. All right, another one, and we go. And I know Woody. Drink, drink, you will drink, be doing drink, this drink, as well. Drink, drink, drink. Would like to fuck Elena with a salt water lube. That's awesome. Woody, Woody, pour that shot. <laughs> Saltwater lube does not work. Damn, Kyle's taking big shots. I'm taking That's the shots. whole point, is that it doesn't work. Uh, I have way a high-speed chase. This is a except shot. The guys right, I'll do a little bit of this. The guy's oh, going about okay. 10 miles an hour. This is super shitty. What? This is the lowest speed, high-speed chase I've ever seen. <laughs> Where's my water? Don't even click. One thing that I do enjoy God while damn, living in I'm LA fucking... is the fact that, uh, oh, y'all motherfuckers are adorable. Uh, we got 20 minutes. I think we should, I think we should mix it up. It's, I think it, should... it, it's honestly shocking how fast the time has gone by since we're drinking. Like, I feel like we should do this every fucking show. <laughs> That's I, I would I rather this not do well, this every show because feel, I'm pretty fucking drunk. Catch me in 2020. Honestly, <laughs> if you close your eyes, it's not so bad. Uh, I feel like it's been 20 fucking minutes. Um, I feel you like know. you guys need to start drinking more alone. In we made fun of fat people. There was a guy who smelled shoes, and then we talked about wanting to... to Wait, we didn't fat. make fun of the uh, the original fat person that we, we never went back to. The oh, she's dead. Pounds. She's dead. You can't make fun Can of we, her. What was her can name, Suzanne? Hey, Chiz, can you go back and find that? I need to see if she died or not. She's dead. Basically, hold on. The premise was that she married a chef, and the chef was furthering her ability to eat. So yeah. would you in would you ever marry somebody with the intent to make them the fattest person in the world? Which I already no. know the answer is no. But like what kind of men what kind of mental state do you need to be in? Where you're like, yes, let me help you. In the, I mean, obviously. Well, maybe, uh, maybe if the fat person was worth a little bit of money and you oh, were trying man. to fatten them up until they died and then you could, you could collect that money if they died, but then they got like... That's the premise of that dude's video. Uh, uh, that, vi that dude's video about who? I don't want to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I asked. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I saw that video too. That was that's pretty mean. That was, it, was it was a boogie. Mean video. Spirited. Um, yeah, yeah. This guy made a video. Cool. The same guy who made uh, the video about wings made a video about boogie, and uh, it was all about how like he proposed. His idea was that boogie's wife was like married him on the you know with the its sole idea that at some point boogie was going to die very sooner Hold rather on. than later, and that she collect his monies. Uh, such as they are, and uh, and then all of a sudden he gets the bariatric surgery, and he's not going to die. You know, he extends his life by easily a decade or more, and uh, and then she yeah. divorced him, and that was his whole premise for that video. He also made a Wigs video, which is much more funny and not quite as sad. Um, I didn't quite enjoy his Boogie video as much as I Me did too. his Wigs video. Every time I see Boogie, I'm surprised how much better he looks. Agreed. Like, I saw he Boogie, he looked better, and then that happens like five more times since then. And it's like, oh my god, like he's still getting better? Wow. It's yeah. gotten to the point where he looks like a normal, morbidly obese person <laughs> who you would see in a store. No, no, no I, I'm being serious. Like, he, 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 no, I'm being serious. He, he looks like a... He looks like a, a normal, Good. really, really fat person that you would see in a store. I'm sure like, he's so proud hearing this right now. Yeah. 
They turned... No, I'm reacting to what <laughs> I'm I the only one of the you. three of us that tweets encouraging things to Boogie when he loses I weight. I think that. So, I, I think <laughs> that. Yeah, he, in, in he, that he does his best, but he even now, he's still a big fat fatty <laughs> who needs to lose weight, but he's doing his best. Yeah, he's you know? absolutely doing his best. We are, we, and he's we, lost a ton. We're an big, insane amount of weight. I have we're, an... Uh, Kyle's uh, trying to get in. Please, I'll be quiet. We're boogie fans here. We we support him and the things he's doing. Because we know plenty of fucking disgusting fatties who, who, who don't try. And who and who and who claim to do things and they don't do them. Which disgusting and, fatty are you? A week's redemption because he's okay. a fatty piece of shit. And but there's, then there's Boogie who's like, uh, you know, he he's he's manned up. And there's no there's no other way to say it. That I think that's the perfect way to say it. He's manned up, and he said, you know what, I'm not gonna die at 40 years old. I'm gonna I'm gonna live a normal lifespan. I'm gonna get my shit in order. I'm gonna fix this addiction I have to food. I'm gonna, if, if surgery is what it takes, then then by God, I'm gonna get my fucking stomach cut open, fucking go through like a, a life challenging surgery and get it done. That's not a bad thing. Nobody no, should. It's sh- not a bad thing. Boogie no, lost thirty it's pounds, fifty thing. pounds before you know, the he, surgery. He recognized his own, um, you know, addiction, weakness, whatever you want to call it, and like what he said, he lost. A large amount of weight. I, I thought it was 50 pounds. Maybe Could it was 30. Yeah. It was an, a, a very big amount of weight, more than like most people ever lose in their entire lifetimes. You know, we all get chunky every now and then. Like, oh shit, I got to cut this uh, down, and we lose 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 30 pounds. I lost. Um, Kyle, we're 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 losing quality content here. Kyle, as far what is as the how, point? How Woody is looking. No, no, I don't want to chair. talk about it. They're all oh, just need another shot. Oh, I thought so, I thought we were slipping into fitness yeah, talk for a second there. We're doing another there. shot. I was dodging we're it. We're doing we're doing another no, shot. Oh fuck you! We everyone. just did a shot. I don't even know how long no, ago. No, that's not true. We're just doing another one. It's I fine. feel like I'm gonna vomit if I take another one Tell right you, now. You're just being a bad person at this point. We just <laughs> had a shot. <laughs> oh, I'm going to a uh, hard pass as somebody who's oh. taken a lot oh. of shots. I'm just gonna. Jericho, I swear to hey. fucking God, if you hard pass on this, I, I'll for me, I will fight you. I'll, I'll, I mean, I can I'll, do it. It's I think just belligerent like, Taylor is really... my favorite Taylor. I have to order pizza. <laughs> but like, I'm like a thousand miles away, now. so suck a dick, you know? Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in fucking New- North Carolina, so fucking yeah. I really exactly. do. I, You'll I be sober by the time pizza. you get here. <laughs> I'll That's think like, of that, but... Taylor, yeah. What would you do to fuck Elena? Would you? <laughs> would you fuck <laughs> wings? You don't have to finish. You just have to stick it in. You have to put I it would, in, uh, in his rancid butthole. You have to put. I it would, in. Would you no, I don't, I don't have to put hole. anything into. <laughs> no, 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 no. This, no, this no. Kyle, Kyle would you fuck his merciful hole? Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> no one would ever know, except I, for okay. You. All right. I He's don't want to stick right. my unit into any <laughs> degenerate asshole, but he I can't mean, properly that chick wipe. Is pretty hot. <laughs> I mean, she so I if you I put, would suck wait, her but, toes. You no have to put it in the ass. Part, I right? would look, suck look, look, those look, look, salty look. sea toes. <laughs> oh, I'd suck her salty sea toes for fun. That's not even hard. Put it in Wing's butthole. All right. Now here's the here's the, pre- Wait, the preface. Wings is here now. <laughs> wings, wings is, is, is the fattest pirate you've ever seen. He's on the boat. <laughs> the fattest pirate says, you've ever seen. And, and Elena looks at you and she says, "Look here, if you put in that, that big fat fuck butthole over there, you I'm all yours. You can do whatever you like with me. You can put it in all three holes. You can you can share me with some some dirty black. No, I, I no." They're no, never coming back I'm not gonna fuck. Yeah, we have to finish this butthole. Would you, would you gonna... fuck wings to get that access to yes. her three holes? Kyle, yes. Kyle, 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 Kyle. Would, would you mid- fuck wings Mercer hole to get access to Elena? What, do I get to wear a condom? Uh, would you fuck his oh. regular hole? Why not? Raw dog, wings of redemptions, Mercer <laughs> wound. <laughs> because I will strap rubber. And I will fuck Wings of Redemption's Mercer uh, wound 
<laughs> I, fuck, this yeah. is fucking revolting. Yeah. I want the you know, they had to clear the I room because of the lie. smell. This is gross, guys. <laughs> fucking horrible. Stop. I want the pus to be accumulating on my balls. I want it to be. I want there to be a ring of <laughs> ramp my cock. All right. Oh, pus. Pus. My window's open, by the way. My neighbors can hear this because they hang out in their backyard. You have neighbors? Pus. All around my cock. I would do it if I get to put it in, uh, in, in, in Molina's ass. This is horrible, and I hate you for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just literally <laughs> terrible. Yeah, she's fucking hot. I don't care. It's not gay. It's not gay if I put it Oh, it's not gay. To want What's to the fuck, matter with uh, it being gay? It's 2018. If you don't suck dick, you're gay. No, I do that. You know, I've watched the <laughs> I'm not show. Sure like, that's how it works. <laughs> I love that Tucker comment. There's, there's a <laughs> on the Stern show about whether Ronnie Mund is gay or gay ish or, or not at all because he likes to take it from a strap on, right? Uh, and they're, And some of the guys are giving him shit, and some of the guys are like, ah, that's. That's fine, whatever. But he likes to take it from a strap on from his. By the way, he's like sixty. I'm gonna say maybe sixty three, sixty four, sixty five. Whatever. Honestly, he's hold on. And his friend is like twenty eight or something like that. Like like yeah. like a, like a third his age or something like uh, very close to that. Right. And, uh, and he likes to take it from a strap on. And he talks about you know he likes to shave his asshole and all that stuff and like that. And they're like, oh, that's gay ish at the very least. That is a toughie. So right, a girl fucks him in the ass. Yeah. Can I can I float this idea? Hmm. When you're sixty plus, there's not a lot you haven't done, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So like, who pee. am I to I... shame you mm. for getting fucked in the ass? I mean, I guess I can't judge you that hard. But... I'm not gonna like like. If you're is it, is it thing is being sure. fucked in the ass, you, that's are, not his thing. you are a gay person. No, that's not his thing. That's, that's a the thing, thing that he, has he did. That's a thing that he has done. I feel like you can you can run the gauntlet on your <clears throat> sexual experiences, and then it's it's like doing you did the main quest, right? You have the you have the side quests now. I like the way you're thinking. That. Yeah, that that does make some sense. Okay. <laughs> why do you have? <laughs> why do you? <laughs> why are you? Why are you looking into the bottle like that? that what is that gonna say? I was trying to measure how big a dent I put in this in uh, this bottle because you it can't, doesn't matter. You you can't dude, see. I put a couple shots into you... this bottle, but still, like this is. It, this, it's pretty much nothing. Look at that. Yeah, it was like like I, I drank pretty much this entire fifth of uh, of tequila alcohol throughout this. Uh, yeah, I, I wish I could. Wait, are I you wish saying could... you drank a fifth? That sounds like a lot. Look Wait, at that. Weren't yeah, you giving it is a me lot. Shit? Weren't you giving me shit for drinking a fifth earlier? I have literally drank in a fifth. No, no, no. I was giving you shit Wait, for drinking that... a handle. Is is that whole this bottle is half a fifth? A handle. But you no no no, no exactly. What you, this, a half a handle is a half fifth. A handle so is you've a fifth. drank an appropriate amount compared to me. Yeah. I've drank pretty much this entire so fucking wait, bottle one, of this tequila. This is one point seven five liters. This oh. is so uh, Taylor's uh, is half what yours is. Exactly. Yeah. yeah so I mine? I have a fifth. Can you tell? You have a fifth. Uh, you're, no no no. He that's has like a fifth. A, that's like a Mickey. What does it say on the front? It's not, Mickey it's not filled thing. up to the... 750 milliliters? Yes. Yes. Oh, it is that's, a fifth. That's a yeah, fifth. you have a fifth. Okay. So, so you have a that's fifth. the equivalent of so we just drank, drank one all of these? Of that. Yeah. I drank pretty much an entire Literally one, of, one of those on the show. You drank welcome, a lot more than Welcome me. to it. Well, well I'm you may have drank more than up. me, but I think I'm as drunk as you. Yeah, we no, 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 that, that's hundred percent. That's hundred percent certain. You are way drunker than I am. Kyle have, has five bottles of uh, Glen Gala set off to the side for after this. <laughs> oh, Kyle, no. how many so bottles do you buy at a time? Like when you go shopping, Kyle, you why are with... you why are you shilling this uh, liberal owned? What happened to <laughs> Tucker's camera? Oh, wait, what happened to my camera? 
Mm. That's what I was asking. Oh, there we go. All right, I'm, I'm back. Welcome. Yeah. I must have hit a hot key. <laughs> I, um, well, it would be insane to buy more than one bottle at a time. I, um, <laughs> I, uh, or would it be I, efficient? I, I buy one bottle at a time. I buy, I get the big bottle, though, which I, I think is, is for kind of a, <laughs> a, 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 I don't know what to call it, move. But I get the one point one. I get the one point seven five milliliter uh, bottle. This big motherfucker okay, right pause. here. The Taylor and gallon. Tucker. Yeah. Is there a crazy alcoholic name for that? Like a fifth or a, a handle? Or a handle. A, is it called a, uh, a a flipper jig? Like what the fuck is it's Kyle's called a thing handle called? Handle because it Just, has a handle. Wait, yeah, this Tucker. is the little bottle. Tucker, did you drink as much as is down there right now on this show? No. <laughs> yeah yeah i did wow there holy so, shit dude that's a lot that yeah, is a lot a size, that is a, a size fucking of a, shit a, ton i've uh I've all right I, I, thought I, was, I, I thought i was keeping up with tucker i'm clearly not i don't know no, I thought, that was the uh that was the uh the the be all end all was people like the only person you need to worry about is uh taylor and i was like all right as long as i keep up with taylor we're all good I think I've had about eight, uh, eight or nine shots, uh, something like that, because um, I've been drinking doubles all night. I'm very, uh, I'm very much. Dude, Kyle, we to we the took pizza. another shot while you were gone, and you we didn't did. Take while it. you were while you were gone, we did. You <laughs> left because of that shot. <laughs> we didn't take a shot. <laughs> Don't be a faggot. Take it. <laughs> hey, <Don't> a faggot. <laughs> <laughs> for all my PC fans, Kyle, you don't can't be catch a up to for, us. For all of our PC I fans, had, I had I catch up, cunt. Back. I had such a hard time pissing in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Don't miss. There's no one to help you here." I'm worried <laughs> about it. We're, we're after all this. drunk. You as must fun. clean this up yourself. Yeah, I don't have my maid here. This is no good. I gotta. I, I, it's just all on me. So, uh, dude, the fact that you think. That the amount of alcohol you drink is impactful on your testosterone level. It's ridiculous. The only it, thing it, it is truly See what it what it No, you... no, shut the fuck up. It is truly <laughs> the water you drink from your own tap that ruins you. Do you know that? You are... My nightmare is having to explain to a full journalistic like panel. On like why I I, I I like sat here on this on this panel and had to allow this derogatory terms I like we're like so at a uh, I forgot five, faggot was bad five now. yeah four hours into your aggressive drinking episode Woody said the f word how did you experience that and I was like negatively you didn't react negatively you laughed wait yeah, you mean really Woody drunk. said faggot and I, we didn't I was, all address it you're right and i said i was drunk and it's just rough man i'm just trying to be pc chiz would you do me a solid would you come up with the title of this episode all by yourself call it a bundle <laughs> of on your own. i've been i've been so scared of having to think about that are we, are we taking shots or not nah? yeah no. we're taking shots I really all right thank I you really I really don't, don't think. Give me one it. second. I'm gonna grab. I feel like I'm gonna if I hit another shot. Yeah, right Kyle. Now, I'm gonna vomit. Kyle. Kyle. Vomit. Think of the content. Think of the, think of the content. Think of the Instagram videos. I, I don't care. I don't get paid for the content. Clips on Twitter. I, it's like, it's, 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 it's like a flat feet. You, you, know, you know. You know. It's, it's, it doesn't four, matter. Four. I just, I just three, thought that you were two, two. One. That's four hours. Man. So sorry. We. Oh, they're all drinking. <laughs> Anyways, you right. got it all well, over me. Settle down a little bit. It doesn't seem to be on me. Oh, it's on my pants. <laughs> yeah, it's been on my pants for a while. I drank poorly. Yeah, I did too. My hands are sticky. That's okay. <clears throat> That's okay. It's all right. All right, all right. Here's the plan. Here's the plan. Jesus I've been live tweeting the whole thing. <laughs> and we're all pretty fucking drunk. All right. So clearly Kyle is fucked up as shit yeah, you because his head is moving in a very oh, unnatural no, it's way. It's fine, dude. Jericho, so, also a little fucked I'm, up, but no, not great. too fucked up. I feel like he's more we're on my solid, level. Right yeah, now. we're solidly in the yeah, uh, responsible I, I, area. I drink like every other day, but when I drink, I drink like 
like three, like two or three shots or something like that. And I get, I get a nice buzz on. And when then Kyle I, drinks, he goes for keeps is what he's saying. Yeah. I get like a nice buzz on. And then I watch like a movie or like I, I eat a meal or something like that. I never go beyond like buzzed as fuck mode. Like I never go to drunk. Are we no longer? <laughs> we're still recording. I'm working on the title. On yeah. The we're show. still, we're, we're, we're so, still going. Uh, Jericho, did I spell your name right? It has like six eyes in it. I don't even know. It's, it's okay. I, I, people, Jerry, people can find me I, I, Co. I, I. I'm not, I don't They'll really figure care. it out. I don't really care. People can uh, find me out. Search results. <laughs> oh, so I spelled it right, but I didn't capitalize it right, I think. Dude, Tucker, FYI, dude, all lower an awesome guy. Oh, I did capitalize it right. Chiz, you dumb cunt. No, I I uh I like the all lowercase. Can we take a easier. minute to talk yeah. about what a fetch is? <laughs> I, like the, I like the word. Well, we, we can spend I feel like when you call him a fetch, you're not, you're like, not like, stressing the dirty ethnic part of him enough. Spent a lot of time talking about that that Spanish <laughs> fucking fag and how much we fucking hate him because of his. <laughs> I don't hate Chiz. Conceited Dude, bullshit. Chiz, tries Chiz hates to me though. Like just because I'm Italian, that I'm not white. And I don't care for that one bit. I don't like it either. I don't like it. Either. I am. I I'm am Scot white. I would, I'm a white I, person. Yeah, I'm, I'm Scotch German, and, and I don't like the way he talks down to I'm me. I'm German like, and Irish. I'll say this: uh, yeah, Kyle about and Irish. Tucker are white, but Taylor's not as white as us. He, he, Taylor, Taylor has a. Mix. He just starts typing "white power," "white power," <laughs> and I'm just like, "What the fuck, man? Like, like, come on! I'm, I'm German." Family Sicilian, but I'm not. I'm. A normal white person. Ah, uh, normal. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm a white person. He said he would own my ancestors, and I didn't like that. I swear to God, if PK is my career downfall, I swear to God. That's okay. Sicilians are not white. They're oh, the niggers of Italy, about... says Piz. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. Sicilians. <laughs> Are not white. The that niggers is not of Italy. I, I that said is, that, 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 is, that, that is lies and that is bullshit. And that is nonsense. <laughs> Tons uh. of Sicilians are not black, <laughs> and I'm not black either. You're the black I'm, of Italy. I'm all white. God, Chiz, you cunt. <laughs> uh, um. Okay, I've, I've, oh. I've taken a first pass at the title. Power. I Does think it, you should it, call it... No, it, you said it again, Chiz. That I've was an... Dude, power. you're from Spain. I think, I How think, are you talking shit on me when my ancestors wait, are from... Wait, do you think Spain's Central. lower than Italy? No, I'm saying... How is he talking like he's some highbrow guy I, when his ancestors are from Spain? As when an mine English are from guy... Italy. I feel like you're both admitting that you're not, you know, at, on my level. We're probably not. We're probably <laughs> I didn't, wasn't expecting that. You're not gonna be as <laughs> as white as me, and and therefore you're, you know, you're, you're some sort of. Wait, uh, aren't English generally white. accepted as most white? Mostly white, yeah, but uh, but I'm Germanic. No, and, I meant uh, the most white. The pinnacle of whiteness is English. Ah, uh, no, 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 Germanic baby. They get yeah. sun like once a year there. Ah, you've never been to Germany, apparently, that's, and neither have I. True, my actually, answer. I think. <laughs> <Neither> <laughs> Do we like the title? What I was, haven't seen. What the was title. the title? Oh, uh, Taylor v. Woody's mom wings update: licking dirty feet. I oh. think the first two are garbage. Really? Also, uncapitalize my J. Also, I think it should be dirty feet. Uh, I think it should be. Man, we really didn't like get into stride until the last. Oh call, like, wait, it, the title doesn't even mention it's a drinking episode. I should say Stop drinking this. episode, oh. dirty feet, and then do <laughs> and then do like uh, Trump. <laughs> wait, why are we laughing? I missed the but funny. Is the title? No. Mm. What the fuck? I think He's Taylor B. Woody's mom's is a keeper. I, I, All right, I, so let's do new let's title. Do drinking so. drinking episode. Uh, Dirty Feet, Taylor v. Uh, Woody's mom. Kind of. It was you know licking I mean? Dirty Feet. Yeah. Last episode. And it uh, turns uh, out that Woody's mom is wrong. She's Wait, always we wrong. We looked at it. it. She wasn't. She has a. She has a. No, she was wrong. And she, she wasn't. No, you she can was say wrong she's about wrong. One portion, but not the other. No, oh. she was wrong. She. 
Don't go by Bread and milk. You watching that? All right, I think we have the title. How are you going to render this Pussy's shit? Pussy's enormous. <laughs> uh, last episode, um, Tucker. Like we ended the episode. We last episode with Tucker. We ended the episode, and Tucker stepped away, and uh, he didn't know the episode was ended. Like, but it was cut. You know, like like like. Yeah, we weren't the recording anymore. It was such and, a alarming thing, and though. Tucker steps back, and I'm like, so Tucker. You hate the Knicks, is that right? <laughs> and he was like, Whoo! Whoo! <laughs> was that was Well, funny. I don't want to say that. <laughs> he was like, Wait, did was, we stop recording? recording? No, we're you, still you, recording. Oh, we, we've been right. done recording for a while. That's not even true. I'm, I'm recording right now. Are you yeah. serious, Woody? Yeah, we're recording right now. I, oh, course... are we? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, Christ. <laughs> yeah. Well, then those things I said earlier will were a joke. <laughs> <laughs> but but you know, in <laughs> bombs and Tucker's just like, oh my god! Like, like he didn't know how, it was it was so beautiful to watch his reaction. It to, was to, it was a good, the, it, yeah to the disgusting in bombs. The funniest are, joke you guys will never see. Yeah. Well, I mean, you just heard about it, so that, that that's good Second enough. Second best. Well, so this was a drinking episode. Um, this is what happens when you when we do that. Um, we, maybe we could do one another one next week. That's I'd be up a for terrible that. Idea. No, I can't. That's a no from your boy. The fucking bottle boys. We can go again next week. I need to. Drink I more don't water. want to do another drinking episode for another year and a half. <laughs> Say that now. And then we'll what a it. wonderful! I enjoyed the uh, episode. Pri- uh, the, this whole episode was wonderful. I think that if you uh, take this and you move it towards a, a, a regular thing, you should have air quotes. We should have a uh, a, a game show type vibe to it you know a little like yeah. who wants to be a I millionaire for coming a little unprepared bit. i literally pitched two games during the episode and they were bad they were bad but well the, the, they you know, weren't good <laughs> they were i appreciate your effort very much but, you know, they were bad. um but you know we get we, we look at more games you know we could spend some time on it uh, you know days at, at a time you know figuring out games that could be fun we didn't it talk was... about the 700 pound woman <laughs> she died. She I'm died. Serious. Wait, no. <laughs> no. No. Ah. No. Right. We didn't talk about this bitch. <laughs> I really have to pee. I just like I I just All right, all right. This show's going to go on for a couple minutes cuz I'll be right back. That's all right. We're still That's recording. all right. I hope <laughs> she dies Dang. in a house fire. You know, I hope you have you shit yourself while you're I hope there, there is a fire. I hope nobody yeah. dies. Yeah. And she dies in it. I fucking hate it. I won't abide it. Kyle, chill the fuck out. Stop with that. What is that? What the fuck is that? It's great. I fucking hate that shit. Which part? Woody or... um, uh, No. No. Just the person acting like their degenerate behavior is somehow acceptable in some sphere out there. It's not. You're 750 pounds. You are an animal. You are an animal that we should watch. Like, as some kind of fucking, like, research shit. You are disgusting. You have not figured your shit out. You are a disgusting animal. And I fucking hate you. You know what's not disgusting? Don't even talk. Oh, Shape Club? This woman. Subscribing is to anybody that promotes this podcast. Back. Look, he's back. Look, look at him walk. Look at him Dude, swag. nobody has ever promoted PKA. Ever. Like, even people who loved it here are like, hey, you know, we, we, <laughs> we've really so had a lot of fun lucky. here, and then we're Do out of here. This is alarming for me. Like, I want to go to therapy after doing this and seeing you guys. Like, I want to go home and be like, all right. Uh, <laughs> so I drank a lot, and then everybody got ri- ridiculous, and I'm still here being PC. A terrible. <laughs> so I peed, and uh, yeah, consequently I walked blood. there and back. No, it's just that 
I'm a hundred percent sure. Up? Okay. I'm not gonna go from here to sober peacefully. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pause. I've been here before. Wait, 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 wait. Are you, are you, do you have um, wait fucked up like at this point? Like yeah. in your head. Can I can oh, I coach you? I'll tell I you what, you. I had to use my hands to guide myself through the doorway to make sure can I, I coach you. Well All then right. So listen. If I'm in your position, mm. my next move is a tall glass of water uh -huh. and eight to sixteen chicken tenders. That sounds pretty good. Do you have chicken tenders in your house? <laughs> yeah, like I feel I like do. how many banquet meals do you have at your disposal? <laughs> like, I'm just saying, None, I but I have chicken tenders. Do like you have you totally banquet have chicken tenders. meals in your okay. house ready for this? I it's think I will eat food now. Why? It sounds Fucking, like both yeah, a good and bad I, idea. I don't even feel like what you're not I, I, I swear no, 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 to God, no, no. you, you, you want to eat food. You need to eat food. Yeah, it helps absorb you the alcohol and ignore all. Ignore that. You need to avoid. The, the, <laughs> the Alex Jones chemicals that are coming into you. You're Alex Jones and Vladimir Putin. Right? <laughs> Chicken tenders on a bacon. No, it, it's no Putin. It's all me. You throw that bitch in there, it's great. Drink water from here on out, you're going to be fine, I promise. You don't have to throw <sighs> up when you drink heavily. It's just there when you don't prepare. Can we stop now? Yeah. <laughs> we've already stopped recording. We're all right. Good. No, we've. No, we uh, haven't. PKA we haven't. All episode... of your aggressive, we... racist bullshit has been on camera. Which <laughs> is why I say I don't condone anything that has come on this podcast. Yeah, I don't either. Ta Tucker's been typing me stuff to say, and I, I didn't uh, want to say it. Like, especially this end bomb. Well, it. frankly, uh, Kyle, I'm not. Entirely interested in what you have to say. <laughs> and so, Woody, I would say you end this right now. Painkiller already, episode 382, the drinking episode. Wonderful episode.